Hey everybody, um, just having a couple, little bit of technical difficulty here, so <laughs> hopefully I could be uh, live here in just a second, just uh, working on getting everything set up as far as computer goes, so let me know if you guys uh, can see and hear everything just fine. I got to get the chat popped out over here so I can move it to another screen so I can see what's going on here. All right, let's see here. Yeah, <laughs> first... All right, very good. I think we're live. Uh, you guys chime in and let me know. I'm trying to see here. All right. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me we're live. Give me uh, give me a hey, hey. Uh, let's see here. All right. Hey. Natanel, what's happening, man? Let me, uh, I got to get this chat over to another... Uh, window so I can enlarge it here and see what you guys are saying because it is a pain in the butt to see it with a small screen so bear with me for just a minute here I know I'm out of the view come on stop fighting with me it's always fun all right let's see here all right let's see here okay here we go hey Andy B yeah, I'm good. What's happening, guys? All right. Mike Ring, Grant Summers, Andy. Okay. All right. Very good. Looks good. Sounds good. Hello, beer drinkers. Kevin Hill, Dean's List. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Mike Dean's on today. What, uh, I am actually brewing a um, just a simple amber lager. I've been getting into lagers more and more recently, so I'm nothing, nothing hugely special or anything like that, but uh, I am going to be doing a lager today. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get back to some IPAs and some other stuff like that here shortly, but just been on a little bit of a lager kick since spring is coming and want something to want something good to drink. So uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to see everybody else because it looks pretty good so far. Let me see if I can zoom in on this here. All right. All right. Very good. Brew day. All right. So as I said, we are brewing a amber lager. Uh, I got my grain. It's a simple grain bill. Um, basically, it's a little bit of Pilsner, a little bit of Carapils, some Vienna malt, and a little bit of chocolate malt. So it's going to be just a little bit amber in color. I got my water all collected. I've got some of it heated up already, if you guys can see on the screen here. I've got another web camera that I set up for this so it, we can see the whole screen this time. And I got it a little different angle this time. I got my... Uh, fermenter over here it is I was doing a CIP before everything went haywire and uh, I got well, to sanitize it and take it apart and do all that stuff so yeah panel cam and it's kind of out of the way too so like you know I, ha I have to walk all the way over here in order to be obscured by that so I think it I think this angle works out pretty good so let me let me know what you guys think and then I've got the let's see here I've got the No, for some reason. Okay, let's see here. Hang on. Let me move this up. All right, we got 41 people on so far. And let's see. Let me turn this off. Yeah, so we've got the the uh, overhead shot again, just like uh, just like before. So got that all going on. Uh, Kelly, I think, is going to join us here in just a little bit. She was taking a nap earlier, so <laughs> I... I uh, I was waiting on her to come down, but, uh, so how's everybody doing? Is there anybody else brewing today? Uh, started a little bit later just because of the fact that some of the people on the West coast were like, Oh man, you're starting at 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, I'm sure we'll have, we do have a pizza in the freezer, so I'm sure we'll be, we'll be hooking that up here in a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of hungry. I started cleaning, uh, everything up. I had a, had a fun day yesterday, did some stuff and, and made a giant mess. I don't know if you guys probably saw on Instagram or whatever, but uh, had a giant mess, and so I had to clean all that up. And then, of course, I made the I made the decision last minute, which you know I always try to tell myself not to make changes last minute on stuff. But I made the last minute decision to cut off a bunch of the uh, Blickman power cord that comes with the with the kettles with the boil coil, uh, just to short it up because the boil coil had I mean the boil kettle had like a whole wad of wiring underneath of there, so did that like i said probably shouldn't do that when you're 
when you're anticipating a brew day, but you know, it's one of those things. So. Hey, Steve, good day. Oh, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Uh, Boyle just started, JS. Uh, Andy B, haven't brewed in a year, moved, and don't have a pit place to brew yet. Well, you got to get that fixed. <laughs> what pizza are we going with today? I'll be doing, probably doing a pepperoni pizza, just like just like normal. Uh, we'll see what Kelly whips up. Uh, oh, thanks, Wayne. This is actually, I did a, a sponsored video for uh, Into the AM. This was one of the shirts that they gave me as part of the sponsor, so. Uh, all in one system brew off again soon. Yeah, probably so something like that. There's a, there's a bunch of uh, systems now that I need to to uh, do videos on so um, Or a comparison video I actually did finally get the um, Unibrow system in so I'll be doing a video on that as well um, And then I probably will do a roundup of like all of the you know the solo the the SVBS the the brew easy compact. I mean, all there's a whole bunch of them in the space now. So I, you know, that'll be a, that'll be a, uh, that'll be an undertaking for sure. That'll take a little while to put together. So, all right. Uh, t -t 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 morning Northwest small batch. I know I saw, I saw your note saying, thank you. Thank you for the later start. So, <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are enjoying that. So let me grab my phone here and see how much water I need for my recipe. And oh, somebody, let's see here. All right, hang on here. Let me get Brew Father opened up. Let me see how much water I need to mash in with, and I'll start doing the transfer on that. All right, let's see here. Amber Lager. Let's see how much I need. Seven and a half gallons of mash water. So we'll start getting that going. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me get this over to my hot liquor tank. Or my, actually, it's my boil kettle right now. I got everything heated up in there. And then I am going to, I'm going to take this off. One of the things I like to do, these, uh, the Herms coil, I do clean it out and everything and put some sanitizer and stuff in there, but one of the things you never know about is if, you know, some crap gets in there. And so I always like to run off a little bit like the first pass of water through that before I get too crazy about putting stuff in there. Ooh. All right. Let's see here. What's going on? It should be pull the relief valve here on this thing. Get a little bit of the air out of there. All right. Boy, that doesn't sound good at all. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let me shut this down so I can try to diagnose what we got going on here. Let me open this up. Let's see if we can get some water going through there. Oh, that's got water coming out of it now. Well, that ain't good. Not sure what's going on with that. We might have to pull a pump apart real quick here just to see what's happening. Well, that one's not making any ruckus either. Well, good times in the brewery already. All right, bear with me for a second here while I try to figure this out. Thank goodness for a floor drain. Well, got some water flowing through there now. All right, let's see. I've never had a problem like this with the Riptide pump. Kind of interesting. Generally, they just uh, prime right up and go. But that's live brewing for you. Of course. Let me grab a stool over here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> things always things always have fun in the live show. <laughs> exactly. 
All right, let's take a look here. See if we can figure it out. Head climb back on here. Or not. Uh, all right. Should have checked the pumps, I guess, before I uh, started doing everything today. But you know how that goes. Last time I brewed on it, everything was fine, so. Let's see here. All right, now let's see if we can get some liquid coming through here. There we go. All right. Okay, let's try this again here. see which one's making the noise yep that's what it is I got them backwards here all right let's see here ain't no problem though we can definitely uh, swap them over Like the twist locks but they're kind of a pain in the butt sometimes to get them lined up that's for sure all right let's see here now why am i not getting any power over there hmm. doesn't make any sense What's going on here? Hmm. Well, I don't know why I'm not getting any power over there. That ain't good. Just have to do this. We we'll have to swap them out and uh, go manual, I guess. I'll have to diagnose that in a little bit. Technical difficulties. Yep. Yeah. Pump's not working for some reason. Oh dear. So, uh, I don't know if what it is. I mean, there's it's it's there's power into the panel here, but I'm not sure. 
Oh, I can't see. Okay. okay, there's that. Yeah, I know. That's not, that doesn't have any, there's no problem with that. All right, so we got some water there. So that's good. All right. They're watching my calamity here. It sounds like Brian's wife arrived to help. Yeah, right. <laughs> Probably so. That's right, that's right. That's right. Okay, yeah, it's over there. You just turn it on and you're ready to go, go. All right, fortunately, I have. Uh, where did it go? Not the funnest in the world doing it manually, but I do have the ability to do it manually. Let's see here. Get this unplugged. I've got two 20 amp GFI circuits back here in the back behind the panel. I mean behind the, the brew bench. So I can just plug into one of those and then I'll just have to run the, run the pump manually. If I can get to the plug here. Well, blue is means it's on. Huh? No, hold it down. Push it and hold it. There you go. Yep. You're right. doing everything. Okay. That one's squealing now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Is it this camera? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We're back up and running for the most part now. Aw, Twin Monkey Home Brewing is painting their house and watching ours. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. The Dean's List, yep. That's what home brewing is all about. Adapt yep. and improvise. Adapt and overcome. Hey, Leo. Good day. How are you and the missus? So glad you're here. I wish they lived close. Now, what the heck's going on here? I don't know. I brought my hop earrings for luck. It was just working. Really? Yeah. What's up with down there? Is that new plugged in? You got two things going on. Did you just take those out or something? What are those two? What is it? That down there. Yeah, this this is not plugged in, it's an adapter. Okay, now I see. Well that's goofy. It was just working. Come on, Beta. You sure nothing flipped, like we need to look at the breaker. Uh, there's no breaker, honey. Oh, whatever. I don't know. It's your thing. Cool. I'm glad she's fine. She went out with the girls last time we were brewing. <laughs> Gotta have that. Let's see anything looks out of whack here. Hmm. Huh. That is so Darn. weird. Do you want me to move this though? This is kind of scary. Oh. Well, that ain't good. I don't know why it's not working. Says, hey. Hi, Matilda. It's so weird. Let's see if it'll work in the other one now. Ghost in the panel here. Huh. Sorry, guys. What's up? Yeah, right. Just don't want you to fall, trip, knock things over. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Here we go. Leo said, what did you break, Brian? Yeah, who I, knows? I'll find out, I guess. He doesn't know yet. It's kind of scary. That is quite odd. All right. What's that? It's quite odd. Yeah. All right, did, was there a noise or anything? or just Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, there you go. So here we go. All right, we're gonna collect our water here. 
70 people watching, only 18 likes. If we all hit like, everything will start working. That's it. <laughs> hit the like right. button. The pump will work. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Andy uh, Willidson said pump works fine if plugged directly into standard outlet. Is he serious or is he kidding? No. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, yeah, he. I well, think you he was, had to have a certain tw two forty, right, or two. Well, not for this. Oh, okay. What was the ampage again? Not well. The it's a thirty amp circuit. Okay. Everything's running through the the uh, control panel there, so I don't know. I'm, so I'm it is suspecting standard. maybe there's like a loose connection or something there. Or I'm a gonna... mouse in our wall. No, it's inside. It's in there. The problem's <laughs> in the panel. But a reality, the system is powered by likes. Dean's list is ready for pizza. So am I. I oh, thanks so much, Shane. Couch. New pump parts. <laughs> oh, thank you. Kevin Hill, I think we should sit back and drink a beer and think about it. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, that's my. That's the problem is I haven't had a beer yet. I fell asleep on the couch. I, I was just resting and all of a sudden <laughs> I, I was snoring. You. I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> I saw you. Do you want um, mm. one of these? Yeah. Me? Okay. Yep. Did you want a Gatorade or anything like uh, that? I've got or? one right there. Okay. I'm sipping on. Okay. All right, let's get you a glassy. And me too. All right, while that is going on, I will need to. Which one do you want? There is Sunday. Yeah, right. <laughs> the far right hand side. This yeah. one? Okay. Yep. Is that the mm. not not? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to have my dark get our bourbon. Seven and a half gallons mm -hmm. here. Yeah, so it's not so the pump. So what do you not think the pump, happens? The, oh, huh? it just was weird, like faulty connection. I don't know. I'll hmm. have to. I'll have to diagnose it. A you ain't got time for that right now. Session soon. Yep, exactly. We'll have another video. Yep. Here. Okay. Is that slippery down there? No. Okay. There's the not Cheers. not Corona. Boys and girls. Here's the bourbon stout. Yep. Whoop. I can get it to focus there. There it is. Very clear. And Leo is drinking a beer and watching the show. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's like I Love Lucy with a good there's ending. there's going to be a show. I'm sorry for voting for this system. <laughs> That's funny. There, oh, I think you already did this. There is Sunday. Everything is clear after a couple of beers, right? Exactly. Enjoy. Stepping away to go install the ice maker. Oh, okay. And cheers, JS. All right. Cheers. So and we're looking for seven and a half radio. gallons of. If you of, haven't uh, brewed, Brian's not not highly recommended. Oh, cool. So he they must have brewed yours. Yep. The side of the radio. This side of the radio. Sorry. About yeah, we that. actually remember we had some. We had some of his when we went down. We were down in Texas down there. Ah. We visited, that's Shane. This side of the radio. Oh, that's Shane. hey Shane. Yeah. <clears throat> he has a YouTube channel too. This, uh, I just don't watch him all the time. I'm always doing something, <laughs> like cleaning the toilet. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, exactly. Here in Brazil. Oh, Twin Monkeys is in Brazil. Okay. Saturday, 16 hours, 25. Woo. Cool. Mo Monkey. Love the hop earrings. Thank you. Brian got them for me. It's like I can't change them because it's yep. a staple. Woo. We need a fan down here, man. I know. Where's the fan? All right. Seven and a half gallons in there. I got to find the fan. Close off okay. all these and then we'll... Here. Put the rest in the Come here, you. hot liquor tank here, which I've already got filled up with uh, some water from the RO system. Beautiful. Here we go. All some right, oscillating we go. air. Put this up here. Oh, I guess I could be showing you guys what I'm doing, but. I'm just going to pull this thing out here like a R2D2 kind of deal. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Robbie. Or Robbie's? Robbie's? Yeah, Robbie's. Yeah, it is warm down here, that's for sure. It is. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Super No Show. Aw. The Netherlands. What's the weather like there right now in the Netherlands? And in Brazil. Sounds so vacation like. All right, here we go. Oh, and Northwest is in the middle of Brew Day. Cool. Kevin Hill is in South Carolina, USA. Beautiful. Yep.
There we go. Cool. Awesome sauce. We're up and running. Yep, we are. Okay. Just want to make sure. Sauna. Yeah, I was going to say that's going to open up the pores. <laughs> For sure. Exactly. Hello from Philly. Hey, Joe. Yep. Cheers to Philly. <laughs> All right. We got her going now. I swear to God, though, the couch is the best place to take a snooze. Oh, yeah, for sure. Tabby threw up on the floor and I had to clean that up. Our poor oh. kitty. She's That's getting always old. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, she is. She ate too fast or something, mm -hmm. though, I think. Okay. All right, we're draining oh. the tank here. Robbie says it's raining and cold. Good day to stay in then. Watch yeah, us. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> GS Brewing says hello from Sweden. Hello, hey, Sweden. Hello. So, what's the weather like in Sweden? I'm currently trekking through upstate New York. Terry T. Rex, wow. It's snowy in Sweden. Gotcha. Yeah. Better turn the element off on Finally the got a chance to watch a live brew. Hello from, oh, South Wales. Thanks for being here, Chris. Chris Seward is in South Wales. See, I got distracted and left the, the uh, left the boil element on. Thankfully. Terry, trucking has changed dramatically, huh? How long have you been little... doing it? We talked to somebody. That's a toasty. <laughs> yeah, we talked to somebody that's in trucking. It's like they have cameras on you in the actual cab. Yeah, it's crazy. Then they have cameras in front of you on the side. They time yeah. everything. It's crazy. That's hard. Yep, for sure. All right, now let's go ahead and get the. I mean, what if your nose itches? Yeah, right. You can't, you know. Well, then there's that. We're only human. Yep, exactly. Yeah, what does smell? I forgot to turn the element off in the boil kettle when I was transferring the water. <laughs> over. Sorry, you got so much going on. It didn't get too hot. It smells a little roasty. It smells like me baking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me uh, turn this on. And we want 146, I believe. It does smell like, like when I'm cooking something. <laughs> when you're preheating the oven? <laughs> No, just when I'm cooking. Oh, when you're cooking, period. Yeah, like in the middle of it. <sighs> Terry T-Rex has got Tourette's or something. <laughs> I just hope that things are safe. Yeah, right, yeah. It just Don't happened. text and drive. <laughs> Let's see, what did I have my... Yeah, uh, we both wore different shirts. I didn't yep. wear my short circuit. I wore the beer. 147. I beer periodically. All right, yeah. That's a pretty clever shirt. Now we'll go ahead and turn this pump on to... Get everything. All right, France, now we're or, moving uh, in a grooving. Yep. Been driving 20 years. Okay. All right, good deal. Have you? Okay. You probably experienced a lot of changes then, huh? Yep. Keep them entertained for a moment. Oh God. <laughs> I got it. When he tells me that, it's so much pressure. Like somebody's pushing in right. my temples. Uh, anyway. I just got to get my scale. No big deal. He'll be back. Yep, I'll be back. How far are you going? Right Just here. Just right here? Okay, good. Not far. I haven't brewed in ages because of feet issues, but jumping into an Imperial Porter tomorrow. Ooh, better check my... Sounds own. good. That sounds delicious, the Dean's List. Let me tell you what. Am I blocking the camera? This is our bourbon stout. Am I blocking the camera? And um, he has it on nitro, and it's really good. No, your shoulder's lower, I think. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, you are see. really famous, haha. -ha. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> Infamous. <You're> right. <laughs> oh, goodness. We know it. We just, we just have fun. I have to show you a picture, though, that Brian's dad made. It's really cool. Uh, what is this called, Brian? Um, it's like some kind of crystal thing. I don't know what, I don't know what exactly yeah, they call it. Yeah, it's sort of like the knit deal, whatever, with, I forget. But isn't that cool? His dad made this. There's like a light in the, gosh darn it. Okay, there. And it shimmers. See, watch. It's so pretty. Yep. Okay, anyway, I'm going to put that back on the wall. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And I can't, I can't, 
Yeah, there. <clears throat> yep, it's back on the wall. Okay. All right, got some Epsom salt in there. So what are you doing right now? I'm putting the salts in the in the uh, mash tun. Walk this way. Yes. Okay. Yep. 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 That is and awesome. Finally. The Dean's List liked it. It is. It's so pretty, especially when we um, like dim the lights in here and it just glistens. There's like sparklies in it. Love sparklies. Um, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't, it wasn't small beads, was it? Was it sort of like a uh, tool I, I don't, that I he think used? Maybe, I'm not 100% sure exactly Honestly, what, I don't know. what it is. It's, but they do sparkle. It, I, they do place them like one at a time though, from what I understand. Okay, so it there you me. go. It might be small beads. It doesn't look like small beads. But actually, yes. And then six milliliters of lactic acid. To be continued, I'm gonna ask him because it's really cool and I love it. All right. Well, let's okay, so go where ahead. are we at now? We Where's are the... ready to mash in. Okay. Grab the mash paddle. I'm gonna switch it over to the mash. And in Andy, the yes, I believe it was a bunch of small beads because that's what it looks like, but oh. I remember hook rugs when I was younger. I thought it was something like that, but I don't think so. Now, for how long do you age the stout after adding the oak chips? Yeah, I did about a week and a half. I would say, you know, it's one of those things where don't just follow uh, what somebody else says. Um, I would definitely do it by taste. So, like, take a sample, see what you think, you know, do want to do that. And then that way, when you, um, when it gets to where you like it, then I would stop there. So... Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> a buddy of mine that owns a uh, uh, wood wood shop or does wood crafting and stuff, he Carpentry. actually made it. It's a maple paddle. It's beautiful. All right, are we ready to mash in? You you gonna you got them guns ready to to stir? Yeah. Let's crank on the mm -hmm. the uh, let's crank on the vacuum cleaner. All right. Oh. Okay, I'll just go for it. Okay. Try to get over here where people can see. Did they get to see this though? The yeah, one that commented? I mean, all of it? Because isn't I don't that know. cool? That's what his friend did. You can't, I mean, you can't see it because. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> well, you know. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. That's right. And a, a huge shout out to Northern Brewer. They did provide us Can with you, like, the... Can you like dump that a little better? Yeah, they did provide us with the grains and uh, hops for the this recipe today. So much thanks to Northern Brewer. Thank you very much. You can see I'm using the bucket from Northern Brewer there. We'll get the logo in the shot. <laughs> okay, yep. <laughs> This is where you don't breathe, but you can still talk. That's right. It's That's an right. art. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't breathe the dust. Mm -hmm. That's where the hood comes in handy for sure. It sucks it out for the most part. Yep. I'm just gonna go dump the rest of it all away. Yeah, that would be good. There we go. Get it over with. Okay. All right. Well, this isn't as bad as last time. It was like nope. we had 25 pounds of grain. Yep. Get the dough balls out. Um, yeah, I, I have I have tried underletting um, before. I, I I should probably try it again. It's probably a little bit easier on the uh, easier on the the stirring and the grain and don't on the Kelly's arms. Matches, I imagine. A little bit easier on those. Oh, uh, JS, we are brewing a amber lager. I'm gonna. Hey Tom, how's it going? Um, brewing an amber lager. We're going to. Uh, oh my god, ferment it under so pressure. Good. My favorite. And uh, I'm using the uh, Lalamon <laughs> Diamond Lager yeast. It seems to work really well. So, I'm doing that. And uh, I feel like that's singing. what we'll be doing. I got the fermenter over here. I got. It. I did the CIP this morning. I got to. I got to uh, finish doing the the cleanup and the the uh, sanitation I'm on it. So, so I figured that'd be a good time to do that while we're waiting for the mash to to mash in. I feel like singing. 
Yeah? Mm-hmm. How's it going there? Good. We're, we're good. You know, one thing I didn't I didn't think about. We're game I, good. I ground the grain a little bit finer with what I did yesterday, and it looks like it's It is very freaking finer. fine. Yeah, so I'm hoping I don't get a stuck mash. I've got, I probably, oh, I'm going to throw in some rice holes just to be sure. I'll be doing this for a long time. Because I feel like there might be an issue with the stuck mash. Nothing's like collecting together. So. That would be that would top top off the pump issue if we had a stuck mash. That would be that'd be the kicker to it, wouldn't oh, it? So you're putting those holes yeah, in. Yeah, just putting a couple of handfuls of rice holes in just to yeah. get a little bit more a little bit more flow, just in case. Uh, just picked up the Nova Lager. Okay, yeah. Somebody told me about that. I, I Does anybody else that. sing when they mash out? What's that? Does anyone else sing when they mash out? I don't know. They might. You're mashing in, so. I mean that. <laughs> <laughs> How's it looking? Beautiful. Okay. It smells great. Yes, definitely. Uh, Doing the definitely, most. Definitely, definitely soupy. It's got a lot of got a lot of uh, powdery stuff in there, so hopefully we don't have a problem. We'll probably wind up overshooting our gravity by a great deal. Oh darn. <laughs> We'll have a we'll have a six point six and a half percent dark lager instead of six a is good. 5. I 5. swear that's like a nice <laughs> nice number five to six. It's just pleasant. All right. Sippy sippy. Hell yeah, he says. Okay. All right. I said we'll just let it rest now and uh, okay. We're just about up to uh, up to temp. So yeah, it's much better since you put the holes in. Good. Good. Okay. You can call. All right. We'll let it let her let her ride then. Right on. We'll wait. We'll wait about ten minutes or so before we start the uh, recirculation, just to make sure everything gets all nice and saturated and ready to rock and roll. I'll put the spar germ on here. I'm not sure how this is going to work. It may work. It may not. I need to get an extended arm for this. Can you turn the fan off over there. Oh, I thought you need an extended arm. <laughs> Not my arm. It was my arm. I lent exactly. my arm for extension. Yep. Yeah, we'll see what happens oh. here. Maybe go up one more. We'll see. <laughs> Brian's been preparing for this for like two hours. Two? I've been doing it since 10. <laughs> Not like four hours. Four? Four. Yeah. Oh, geez. Sorry about that. I've just been doing some laundry. All right. And we're back. You can hey. show them, you can show them the mash paddle now. <laughs> Don't be mean. I'm not being mean. <clears throat> I will. I just finally realized what angle we were coming from. Andy, okay, the CIP ball that I use is the uh, Blickman one that they have. I'll show you real quick here. I'm done doing this. Cooled off there. Good thing I didn't have an implosion on my uh, CIP system there, or on my fermenter. Right. Need to pump that out into the sink anyway. Okay. This is the CIP ball. That's crooked. That I use. It's the one from Blickman. You can see it there. Beautiful. Works pretty well. Oh, so how's everyone's life right now? Or wait, we're trying to forget <laughs> about that, right? Yeah, right exactly. <laughs> what do you want to ask them that for? <laughs> Hopefully everybody's hanging in there. We're all just trying to keep it real. Remember, uh, remember from a few good men, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> right. Jack. All right, let's empty out all this. says it like Jack. All the scuzz here. about ready to eat all right and then i have um i have a quick disconnect on on the hose on the sink cool so i can actually do a rinse for just a little bit put some okay. hot water in there and rinse it out if i can get this the only thing i don't like about the g4s is the the cooling coil is so close to this port on top and it makes it kind of difficult to get anything attached to that port it's just it's just a little bit I, and i i don't like hmm. disconnecting the the hose barbs and all that stuff every time because I, I leave i have a quick disconnect that has a shut off on it 
And so I leave the, if you can see from that camera, I don't know if you can or not, but I leave a little short pigtail with a, with a connector on there so that the coil is always full of glycol and everything. And I don't have to worry about draining glycol all over the floor and all that stuff. So it's just, that's a little bit of a pet peeve from there, from that system. The Deems List Home Brewing said, just finished a Brett Lambic blend okay. I picked up from my local home brew store. Okay. I forgot how much I like Bretts and Lambics. I, I, like, I actually don't mind Lambics at all. I, I'm not a huge fan of like sours and stuff, but I do like a Lambic. So we may have to try one sometime. What you is, know that Frambois? Have you seen that before? That's isn't like that a, kind of a sour? Yeah, it's, it's like a, that's a raspberry. I think Frambois is a uh, raspberry Lambic, I think, okay. if, if I'm correct. Somebody tell me if I'm right or not. I, th okay. I think I am. Um, <clears throat> Should I put this down too? Is this too, am I too loud? Uh, I don't think so. Is she too loud, guys? Am I too loud? Okay. I just noticed you didn't like clip yours. Well, I'm louder than you are too, so. I know, but also I just. Yeah. I, I don't um, know. It's like a grape soda kind of. Ooh, okay. Uh, As CH from the Hoppy Hour says, be positive, test negative. Great to see you guys burn. Thank you. Fresh Country Ale. What is it? It says, as CH from the Hoppy Hour says, be positive, test negative. Great to see you guys <laughs> brewing right. again. Keep it up. That's exactly. Awesome. And then you if, are correct. If you're, if you're into following advice from CH. <laughs> the Dean's List said you are correct. Okay. At the Frank that's, voice. That's what I thought. Yep. That's what I thought. That's like a commercial example, I'm sure. So. And not too loud. Okay, cool. And Happy A Brewer said nope. Volume's good, Chris said. Okay, cool. Last thing I want to be is loud. All right, here we go. Blech. All right. I'm excited. It's starting to smell good in here. It is. It's making we'll me want to eat great We'll start the recirculation here in just a minute. Aw, Suser J17 says, such a nice homebrew setup. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank it's you. It's been a... Been a long time, you know, a lot of work and a lot of uh, a lot, a lot of time, of and years, effort into it, <laughs> and a lot of leaving camping early and <laughs> Kelly's birthday and you know. Okay, guys, you hit a nerve here now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm proud of you. I'm always. pretty sure there's going to be counseling. No, I love being there's going to be with counseling them, necessary here in a little bit. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's not all easy. It's oh. blood, sweat, tears, and bear. Kelly, but. how does that make you feel? <laughs> I'm not on the couch right now. Well, I now. don't know. Let me have another beer and I'll tell you. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Um, mm. Is the glycol cooler for G4 worth it? I'm considering. That's what uh, I'm Yeah, I, I, I have... <laughs> he uh, loves it, I think. Yeah. I've run, I think, probably like four or five fermenters on it. Uh, the. Oh, wait a minute. Are you talking about the cooling coil for the G4? Is that what you're talking about, or you're talking yeah, about the? Well, the glycol cooler for G4 worth it. Yeah, yeah, it works. It works well. I want. It's tough to get down below. It's it's tough to get down to like below. I love this thing. 38, 30, 37, 38 degrees. It it'll hold 40 degrees just fine. There's no problem with that. But if he you try to both. go a little bit cooler, it starts to ice up a little bit. So mm. as long as you're you know targeting about 40, 45 degrees, you'll have no problem at all. So good to go. And then a shout out to Jaded. Yep, supposed to possibly, maybe, check out one of the uh, Brewbilt Uni 2 units. Mm. So that'll be really interesting to see. I think the jacketed fermenters probably have an advantage over. Um, for you guys brewing coil. today, what are you brewing on? Mm. What are you using? What brew system? Right on. All right, so let's see here. Let's see how the cooling coil. And this is the coil that he's talking about. And the CIP got it clean for the most part, but there's still yeah. a little, bit of, little, it's amazing. little bit of gunk on there. If you can see. Yeah, not, 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 uh, Looks like a trombone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did that on the, uh, on the video for you this. You played the trombone? Yeah, you I act like it was a trombone. hidden talents. So we've been together my, forever, and I had no was, idea. It was my alter ego. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that or not. Huh? Yes, we have the shirt upstairs in the closet. Yeah. Some What's people, his name? I don't remember. Blind Blind Melon Chillin, I think his name was. <laughs> Chillin. Blind Melon Chillin. Oh, Chillin. I'm yeah. Like, what in the world? Oh, oh well, that's funny. <laughs> Just making it up as I go. 
You I gotta think that have was fun. actually. You know, we're only here for so long. It was long. actually. I think that was a character from Cheech and Chong, if I remember correctly. Probably. Blind melon chili. Yeah. I'm so sorry. this will be. This will be. You well, guys will get to was see. Funny though, the deans. You guys will get to see how much work it is to disassemble and reassemble one of these things and clean everything because it's. Yeah, it's a lot. It is we're a bit of a chore. I'll be honest after with a you. brew day, I just <laughs> want to go to bed, and I don't even care if I wash my face. Yeah. That's weird. Everybody's like, "Oh man, conical." With the uh, tri clamps, and, uh, <coughs> it ain't it ain't all uh, sunshine and rainbows because there's but a lot. But it is of, when you brew beer with it. Yeah, there's a lot of. I mean, it works well, but there's a lot of cleaning yeah. and a lot of disassembly, reassembly. Chris here said recently brought the grandfather glycol chiller and a second conical fermenter. Chills two down to four C easy. You do the conversion to F to Fahrenheit. Yeah. I'm what not is sure that? what four four cells. Three point four seven. Zero is thirty two, right? Huh? Zero is 32? I think so. Freezing? Yeah. So four Celsius, 32 probably, probably be about 40, yeah. 45 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit, I think. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, and they probably will. <laughs> Good, because we like to be right. Exactly. <laughs> Why be yeah. up here and be BS? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that was, a, that, was, that was a fun one the other day. I, I said something, and she was right, and she goes, can you put that in writing? So actually, I wrote it down on a piece of paper, and then I brought it to her. I'm going to go get that piece of paper. <laughs> Thirty. Okay, that's what I thought. About forty. See, everything came clean for the most part in here. There's a little bit of residue left over, but not much. So, I do. I tell you, the the sink and the spray wand is is key, boys, for a for a brewery. If you can, man, I'm telling you, a sink, a floor drain, and the and the spray faucet are just absolutely awesome. Yeah, you know, mansplaining. It's a real thing. Yeah. So anyway, Brian said something that I had no question on, and he was like, oh, wait, you're right. So I said, can I have that in writing? <laughs> it's beside my bed. It's, I'm going to frame it. Yep. <clears throat> so I had to oblige, as <laughs> you know. I love him. Very rarely do I admit that, so, you know. Marriage can be funny. Yeah. you got to write it down. Hmm. Okay, Kevin Hill says, I have Alexa in my brew house, so if I have any questions, I just ask her. Oh. There you go. That's pretty cool. What's that um, app that you were doing recipes on? Uh, brew Father. No, it was a different app. Oh, Chat GPT. Yes. When I, when the, I did the, Like yeah. an AI kind yeah, of yeah. deal, like Alexa. It didn't really do that great of a job with it, though, quite honestly. I mean, if you, the more you tell it and the more you you uh, get specific about what you're looking for, the the better it'll do. But I mean, at that point, if you know what you want and you know what you're looking for and everything, then you might as well just do that. So. Right. All right, so let's see here. <laughs> Make sure everything is clean in here. Pull out the thermal well. Yeah, see, look, there's a little bit of, see? Had to pull out the thermal well because there's a little bit of gunk in there. I don't know if you mm. can see it or not, but there's a little bit of gunk on there, so. Good thing I had to pull it out. <clears throat> I always, I never trust CIP solely. I always disassemble the thing and make sure that everything is, uh, everything's good and clean. The dean's so. list said you were so smart to put the door flank, um, the floor drain in. Oh yeah, I mean I, I did it in the last brewery that we had. And it was just yeah. it was a godsend because you to could just hear like, squeeze. Your in. husband put a jackhammer to your house though is really <laughs> frightening. I yeah. must admit. Yeah, because I so I, if you I, if those of you who haven't seen the video. I actually jackhammered all the way across the basement over to a sump area for a pump to pump the liquid from use, the brewery. You, I'm, I'm usually just moving in somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also <laughs> jackhammered all the way over to a back bar sink over on the other side over there. So if, you, if you're if you curious about how I did all this stuff, I have a complete build video series on this this whole <laughs> this whole basement. No, you so. did an excellent job. It just, it's scary because okay. I just don't want my house to break. It is time for us to go ahead and start the recirculation. Okay. So let me open these valves up and close this off. And okay, we are doing distribution. Over from here yep. to here. Cool beans. Open this up, and I'll control the flow of the. Let me let me switch switch cameras so you guys can watch the recirculation adjustment. It could be like that monkey, you know, with the. 
symbols. There we go. Chick, chick, chick. All right. So go ahead and turn the oh, turn the wart pump on. Wart pump. And then I will start adjusting the. It smells so good. Woohoo! We are on the way. Looks nice. What happened? Yeah, you got an air bubble in there. It'll, oh. it'll work. It'll it'll work itself out. Okay. At least you put. Okay. I don't want to open the check valve because it's like grain and all kind of stuff. That's in there. what I was so gonna say. I actually. don't want to do that. <laughs> all right, here we go. J.S. Martel says, Alexa, brew me a Pilsner. Did I get this right? <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She'll walk into the room and brew. And walk out of the room. A little bit more. Someday we will have robots that do this for us. Yeah, that's... I don't, I don't want that, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know that the... I don't uh, mind hard work. The Blickman... What? I don't know that the auto sparge is going to work that great because... Why? Well, because it has to... Look, it has to come all the way up to here in okay. order for it to shut off. It works so. perfectly. Usually. No, no, it, I mean, it works, but I'm just oh, saying... Oh, you're just saying because of what we're doing. Is, it's yeah, not, because, yeah, it's because not the product. Yeah, no, because we're so that low is excellent. Blickman is fantastic. Okay. Is there something... Is it working? It's just, it was, yeah, it was just, it was Jammed? just kind of shut off. Okay. Open it up a little bit more. There. That's better. Get her to now we're moving in and grooving. Yeah, it's pushing all the air out. It's running a little bit slow. It's like a little kid in the that's bathtub. That's okay. I'd rather start slow and then pick up <laughs> speed once we know it's going to flow. <laughs> Last thing you want is a stuck mesh. Nopey wopey. The Riptide pumps have a great. Bruce says, "What's flow happening? Valve. Brew day in action." Yes, yes. And the dean's list said an imperial amber would have solved the floating ball issue. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you want me to go turn the oven on or whatever? Yeah, sure. For okay. pizza, you mean? No, to um, oven up the children that are in the backyard. Like oh, okay. Hansel yeah, and Gretel. Sure. Why not? Let's do it. All right, so we're, if you can see on the camera there, we got a pretty good flow. So, so far we're looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. We're at 145. This is at 146, so 147. We'll bump this up to 148. And then that should get us about one. I got a, there's about a temper one degree temperature differential between the uh, hot liquor tank and the mash tun. I could adjust the offset. I think I'd said this once before. I could adjust the offset, but I'm really I don't really I don't really care about that. I'm trying to figure out where this air is coming from. I'm guessing it's coming from the the valve. Maybe we're not quite flowing fast enough to keep the air out. Looking good, though. All right. Uh, 148 for max fermentation. Now, you can, go, you can go all the way down to, like, 146, something like that. Um, well, I got, there's one, one pump is working on the panel. Let me switch over to the other view real quick here. One pump on the panel is working, but I've got the other pump plugged into the wall. Because there's like, there's two, tw there's two 20 amp circuits behind the, the brew table with the uh, GFCI plugs on them. I just did that because of doing all the testing and, um, you know, all different manner of systems and stuff like that. So I did that so that I could test multiple systems at one time. Okay. That looks like it's flowing pretty good. So let's grab the lid. And I'll start my timer. I need to tell Brewfather that I'm actually brewing. <clears throat> we'll take a P 
pH reading here in just a minute. All right, let's tell what I'm brewing here. Okay, we're brewing. Change the status to brewing. Yep, okay, yep. Continue, continue. Start the timer. All right, very good. Beer break. <laughs> hey Justin, yeah, nice to nice to be brewing again. That's for sure. We did our first live brew day back um, in January, and then uh, during the winter months, it's a little bit easier for us to do uh, brew day because there's nothing to do outside. We do like to go fishing and stuff like that. So as spring and summer comes along, it's a little bit harder to to uh, take away from doing that. But uh, it's in the winter time, it's a lot easier to do it. So we'll, hopefully, we'll we'll get several more live brew days in here um in the in the near future uh lots of home brew, home brewers in our click are going pro any thoughts no not at all i i uh i don't i quite frankly I, you know maybe i'm lazy i don't know i don't want to work that hard because it's it's a lot of work to open a brewery a lot of work especially in the beginning i mean once you get established and get some employees and all that kind of stuff it's not as bad but it's it's so much work in the beginning just ask josh and um uh gosh darn i can't remember his name now I, I feel terrible. I forgot his name. <laughs> mm. Oh, why can't I remember his name? You know who I'm talking about. All right. On with the cleanup. the oxygenation stone. I don't even know why I have this in here quite honestly. This It's oxygenation or carbonation stone. I don't even know why I have it in there. I, I don't really, I don't hardly ever use it, so. But it's there in case I want to use it. Yeah. Gary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, right, Bradley. I'm a pro. Yeah, Gary. Yeah, Gary Fortin. That's who it is. I'm sorry. I drew a blank there for a minute. I don't know why, but yeah, ask those guys how much work it is and see what they think about it. And uh, come back to me and let me know. <laughs> For sure. All right. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so there's the oxygenation carbonation stone. Let's check on the... All right. Everything's looking pretty good here, from what I see. I'm gonna pull out the pull out the dip tube and the the aseptic valve. Those are usually prime spots for gunk to hide in. Oh, let's see here. Take this all apart. I'll be back over to answer your questions here in just a second. Just want to make sure I get all this stuff cleaned out so we can start doing a, uh, we'll do a little sanitizer CIP. I guess that would be SIP, sanitize in place. Yep, all kinds of gunk in there, for sure. Gunk, gunk, gunk. Not surprised. Get a nice clump of yeast out of the racking arm the first couple times you try to rack off from the fermenter. Or at least in, in my experience anyway, it seemed like that. All right, let's see. What we got going on here? <laughs> Can't even remember my... Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, uh, I am... Uh, Justin, I'm brewing. I'm doing a um, amber lager is what I'm doing. Um... Yeah, and it's definitely it's definitely a lot easier to to uh, chill down the wort in the winter time for sure because of the fact that the groundwater is, is uh, so cold. So There's gunk on the top here. Yeah, make sure get this all cleaned out. Did a CIP with the Exchillerator cleaner. Usually works pretty good. It's not a little gunk on top. 
around the top of the seal there. All right, we got that. Looks clean. I do like the aseptic valve on this for taking samples and stuff. It's uh, you can completely submerge the the valve with cleaner or sanitizer whenever it's uh, when it's not being drawn off of, which is really nice. All right, up next, bottom elbow and valve. All right, the moment you started your mash timer, the grains had been in for about 15 minutes. Does that affect the wort? So Chris, what I generally do anymore with just about any system is I'll let the mash just rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. There is some conversion that starts, but that's the reason why I let it sit for a little bit is so that it kind of loosens everything up. Cause if you can, if there's a, if there's like grains that are starting to convert and they get kind of mushy or not mushy, but get kind of, um, uh, I don't know what sticky, Clumpy. I guess you would say. Yeah. Um, it helps to let those just kind of do their thing and start to convert a little bit. And then I'll start the, the, um, they're dry. The mash. Um, it adds probably 10 or 15 minutes, or you could cut off 10 or 15 minutes. I don't really sweat it too much with that. So it's like, you know, I, but I do like to let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes just to let everything settle in and the grain bed to kind of settle out. The and pizza then, is in. All right. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> Oh. Amazing. Wow. Crank this up a little bit more. Make pizza more often. It's obviously looks like we're doing Who pretty good. Who were you just here. talking to? Were well, you talking to Chris Seaward? What's that? <clears throat> you were talking to Chris Seaward? Yeah. Okay. Then the Dean's List said it's obvious you put a lot of thought and planning into how you designed and positioned equipment in your brewery means you can never move right exactly that's well, right well I, I never say never because the last time that i uh designed and built a brewery we did wind up moving so yeah it's you know but what, what it is mike is every time you every time you move oh his name's mike yeah mike dean mike dean um every time you move then you get to figure out what you did wrong on the last one and make it better on the next one so but not that it was wrong he just put it better well, yeah, what you could what you could do better. How about what, yeah. what improvements you could make? How about He's very that? hard on himself sometimes. Not saying not saying necessarily wrong, just no. like improvements of what no, you can do. No, you did better. very well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All said, right. Oh I right. Think, Good point. I think. Do you have an emoji button on here? Um, I don't know. I love emojis. Sure. Sometimes there is, but I don't know. <laughs> Oh shoot. Well, that's okay. So I put extra pepperoni, extra parmesan and mozzarella, extra sauce. You are the bomb. And um, red pepper flakes. I okay. just mingled it all together so it wouldn't all right. burn, hopefully. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Got everything all cleaned out now. Beautiful. Now we go back <laughs> together. So does anybody have any questions on what we're brewing? Anybody that just kind of like walked in or? Yeah. You're actually going to stand on that? No. Okay. Because I'm, I'm going to sit on it. Nervous. <laughs> I'm going to sit down on okay. it. Okay. To uh, put some of this stuff back together. No wife likes to watch the entire her time. fall. Oh. Standing too much. <laughs> Was messing with this stuff for like four hours today. Happy brewer. I do have a question on the pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what what is your question? It is a it is a, yeah. <laughs> I mean seriously, do you have a question? <laughs> seriously. What is this is serious this is a serious topic. What's the what's the serious question about the pizza? Justin mm. Thomas. Huh. Mm. And Dean's list homebrewing brings up a good point. What's that? Justin Thomas, yeah, you know, no, he, at the, the Dean's List homebrewing, what? Go ahead. Um, brings up a good point. Maybe, Brian, for a future episode, you could cover setting up a home brewery. Yes, I said that to him. Where to put gear for efficiency, etc. I told you, like, where you store things and how you do it and how you yeah. get along with me about, about using so much of our like house that, for 
Ask him if he, uh, have you seen, Justin, have you seen my um, my brewery build series? Happy Brewers, like, do you deliver in Holland? Sounds delicious. <laughs> yes. All right. It might be messy because it'll come in a box and you know how mail can be. Huh? Sauce will be stuck. Do oh. we deliver our pizza in oh. Holland? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Air mail. Justin Thomas said some of it. Okay. I kind of do go through some of that in there about you know why I did what I did where where and all that stuff. It's like one of the one of the things that I did to kind of future proof in case I mean I don't I have never really had the need for doing back to back batches, <laughs> but what I did was when I when I created the brewery and put in the uh, the electrical system, I actually went ahead and did uh, six gauge wire in the wall. Oh, he more. wants to know more of your electrical capabilities. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm just saying oh. that. It was just one of those things that I did. Because he said kind of pretty much what I was, said, so maybe I didn't cover it. I right. did um, six-gauge wire in the wall just so that if I ever wanted to have a 50-amp control panel, then the wire is already there to be able to do it. So if I ever wanted to upgrade to a back-to-back -back system where I could do, you know, one batch. If we and, have oops. the Holocaust and it happens, I'll see us. <laughs> The Holocaust. All of it. Or <laughs> the, the end of the world. I know. Yeah, right. We'll put that 20 foot full, like full wall up around yeah, right. the property yeah, exactly. and just go build there. A, build a homebrew compound. Yes, please. Just kidding. <sighs> All right. Where's my tinfoil hat at? Hang on. Great. Just a second. Okay, shield them from my thoughts. <laughs> <clears throat> feel so useless yeah this is well i want to this is not this. the most I fun understand. in the world anyway so just, yeah. you're not missing a whole lot no it's a lot but yeah it's fun it's like a puzzle <laughs> right i love puzzles sure <clears throat> it's fun oh stop it it is this is our time off when we're relaxing yep exactly this gives you gives me something to do while you I'm, need uh, your brakes on mister i know gives me something to do while i'm mashing gosh yeah. See, the problem with tri-clamps is you got to hold everything together and put the clamp on. Yeah. Well, it needs to go out a little more. Let me put the brake on. Oh, you keep swiveling it. So anyway. Yep. That's me. Keep swiveling, Clark. <laughs> little lights aren't swiveling. Pretty, pretty much what she said all of it. What, what's he talking about? Good Lord. Um, with how you oh, like, set up, store, I all gotcha. of it. Yeah. I, I just thought maybe that would be a neat video because yeah. people have to compartmentalize. I mean... Yeah, a lot of it depends on how much space you have, too. Mm -hmm. that, that's the biggest part of it is... And I'm very good at that. I've lived in a one, like a studio before. <laughs> Had a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah. Exactly. All right. There's that. Yep, that's all. Oh, except for the. Um, why is it that it's still moving? Because I put the brakes on. What's that? Well, because there's, there's a. Okay, there's like no. Three, three brakes. Yes. Well, I know that, but this side didn't. It okay, swivels. it's good now. Mm -hmm. It swivels. That's why. Yep. Exactly. I just don't want it to be harder for you than it needs to be. Right. <clears throat> okay. There's that. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Right. I know, it's a lot of stuff. Lots yep. of lots of mozz. Lots of mozzarella. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna exactly. push this thing down here. I'm just gonna have to turn it back off again. Oh, what the brakes? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's just for right now. It'll hold it in place for now. Yep, we're right there. Come on. J.S. Martel just said, just drop four ounces of mosaic in Citra. Ooh. Awesome combo at yeah. Whirlpool. Hope I know what I'm doing. It sounds like you do. <laughs> <laughs> Those are beautiful. You're wind up with something. C Citra, yeah. Yep. Is he mm -hmm. making an IPA? Yeah, probably a hazy IPA or mm -hmm. an IPA, one of the two. Something like that. What are you making, Kevin? 
or JS, I'm sorry. No, Kevin Hill is here. You need to install a dishwasher in the brew house. Brian said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to clean it, to clean all the uh, fermenter parts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. He did, and he said it's great. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can find a good, you know. Yeah. Dishwasher. That's a lower price. That'd work. Her name's sure. Kelly. Yeah, anyway, right. Anyway, the Dean's List. Um, he said, have you found a trick for tightening the lid clamp easily for pressure fermentation? Uh, on the G4? Is that what he's talking about? I, he didn't specify, but I think so. That's what he means. Do you mean the G4? Um, what's his first name? Or the Dean's List? So yeah. I don't want to do that. So one of the one of the things that um, helps me. He said is, yes. One of the things that I find helps is um, every oh. once in a while lubricate a the IPA. lubricate the threads cool. with even like some keg lube, and then the end of the the, the brass wing nut thing lubricate those with some some keg lube, and uh, <laughs> that helps a great deal. Got to have your what keg are you lube. Laughing about. Um, J S Martel said yes. He's making a New England. Yep, sound like it. <laughs> Beautiful. Brian loves those. And then it's all, it, it is a it is a ten millimeter uh, nut size on the end. So I mean you could always you could always do that. But I did find that um, I did tighten one too tight one time, <laughs> and actually stripped out the brass. Um, but a lot of it, like I said, you know, if you just lubricate the the uh, the threads and the end of the brass tightening knob whatever it's it is like you're this. putting a battery in your car yep um so okay skip dude said have you ever made an epa what is that i don't know what that is what's an epa is that a joke or <laughs> i'm just yeah, right. kidding because i i i know some acronyms and but i don't think that's what what is an epa skip dude I'm about to go get my phone. Okay, I'm gonna Google this. All right, we are looking good. Looking what is good. What EPA <clears throat> with beer? So far. According to. All right, where's my star sign at? What is it? EPA with beer. Oh, English Pale Ale. That's it. Um. I don't I was, know that I've specifically targeted an English pale ale. No, I'm you've assuming never. just because um oh, you know, there he is. using <laughs> like I guess Ask noble Alexa. hops and Yes, Kevin. And uh certain ingredients that would make it Absolutely. an English. Alexa, what's an EPA? <laughs> right. Alexa, make an EPA <laughs> right. in twenty minutes. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, All we've right. never done that. Cause you're like a, I, you're an imperial, but a yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I've made some pale ales and stuff. I haven't made any pale ales in a, in a while, mm -hmm. so I generally just jump right to a imperial. IPA. Yeah. But I have, I don't mind them. Well, the hops are stronger, and it's a higher percentage. And, 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 yeah, and IPA. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, IBU. Yeah. Um. Oh, and Mo Money said, "What is your favorite beer to brew, Brian?" Um, I, I like I like New England IPAs. He a likes lot. what Kelly loves. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I actually, I, you know, this is a, this is an amber lager, but I have been on a little bit of a lager kick. I mean, like I did the the not not Corona. I've got a another um, almost like it's just a, like a smash lager. It's a, with a one malt. Belgian, one. It's like Pilsner malt yeah. and then um, Czech Saz hops mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the uh, for the hops in it all the way through. I so, know. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it's a little bit farty right now, but hopefully the... Hopefully. <laughs> you did not just say that. Yeah. I was oh, watching, your boys. I was watching uh, Adam, sure Adam Brews Beer last night, and he, he was talking about that uh, there's, a, there's a YouTube channel if you guys want to go check it out. This guy is a, a professional brewer down in um, Cincinnati. I can't remember the name of the brewery, but his, his YouTube channel is Mike Brews Beer. Oh. And... Um, has a lot no of good idea. information Again, on there. I was watching a, all the time. a video. He was on there with another pro brewer last night doing a live stream about um, theol, thiols. Because that's something I'm going to try here pretty soon. A and what? I was, I was learning a ton of stuff a from what? them last night. A thiols. What? Oh. 
I was learning a ton of stuff from I them love last night. Scrabble. So I have no all idea the different what that things is. they're doing with them and how they're using them and everything. Okay. So Yeah, Adam, yeah. <clears throat> Chris yep, Stewart said, please stop saying Alexa. She's going nuts in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You just said it again. Oops. <laughs> and then Dean's list. My favorite style to brew are porters and browns. Yes. They smell so good when brewing and color. Oh, I yeah. agree. They're awesome. They're my fave. Yep. Um, Alonzo Pack said cartridge brewery. So he yeah, knows the, the brewer. Yeah, well he wow. he he's been on uh, he's been on with um CH. He's on Picard. Home Brew for Life. I didn't know Alonzo Pack was Picard. Huh? He's Picard. Picard. <laughs> I love your acting, Alonzo. Engage. <laughs> I'm a Trekkie. Yeah, right. Okay. Stop talking to Alexa. She's at my brew house too and turned off the stream. <laughs> Jesus. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, Dom <laughs> Oliverado said Adam. Yeah, Adam. Adam Bruce Beer. There you go. That's him. And make it so. <laughs> I know. Number one, I know. Oh my God, now I want to go watch Star Trek. Do you Star like the most recent one, though? What's it called? The most recent series with Picard because he's like oh, 83. Oh, Picard, yeah. I think he was so slow, I couldn't watch it at first because it made me sad. We're all getting old. What did I do with it? I need another tri -clamp. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, shoot, Brian. I came with, I came with like five. Right there? Is it up here? Oh, no. No. Eh, I got, a, I got a bucket of them down there, so it's no big deal. Okay. But I was trying not to grab another one from the, the stash there, but I don't know what I did with it, so. Oh, Beer Koi cussed, so they want us to show or hide. You can go ahead and show it. Dang it, Beer Koi, I'm the yeah. pit show. This is a... This is not a family show. <laughs> well, Leo had his daughter on I know, here, I know, but I know. we're not being bad, bad. We're I just know. being human. Okay. And then Kevin Hill said G60 LMAO. What's LMAO? I'm just kidding. Laughing my ass off? I know, Brian. I'm teasing. Oh. Leo's daughter is on here, maybe. Oh. Matilda. Okay. Howdy, Beer Koi. What's up? What are you doing today? <laughs> oh, <laughs> here it is. Did I miss he pH reading? Oh, did you nail the pH reading? Huh? Did you nail the pH reading? Did you? Oh, I don't know. I, I should check it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Kind of late now, but. Thank you for that. Let's check it and see. Relaxing after a week in Oklahoma City. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Let's check the pH and see if I nailed it or not. Twin Monkey Home Brewing. If you think about uh, and about if it's travel time, there's Sunday, here's Saturday, brew time machine. Hey, Twin Monkeys, I get you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a brew time machine. Oh. It's whatever you want. That's my take. Yeah, that needs to close. Yeah, not so much. Being stubborn. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty confident generally in my my uh, readings. Uh, pack for PAC for Life 88 says, enjoy the channel. Thanks for the content. I'll be brewing tomorrow. Awesome. It's so fun to make your own product. Yep, exactly. Twin Monkey okay. Hobering. Um, hey, Beer Koi Nation, cheers. Iroquois said, smash the like button. Aww. Right. Iroquois howdying Twin Monkeys back. Cool. Smash the like button. It's just fun to do this. Thank you. I just, yeah, we're just community people. I'll let that cool down for just a minute there, and then we'll take a reading. Okay. I'll, uh, That's good. Because the they wanted the to know. They wanted to know. Yeah, no problem. Pack uh, for Life 88. No problem at all. No problem at all. All right, I think that's probably enough uh, enough sanitization running through there. Running we are a part the of the sanitization. Aseptic valve here. I love Janet Jackson. Get that all sanitized. <laughs> I love to sing. I told you guys that once. Anyway. All righty. Jolly good. 
100 viewers. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. It's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, that's like right on the edge. Oh, we have 100? That's fantastic. Falling down in there. Thank you all for being here. Put a little and more cheers, ice in that. Henry. Put a little more ice in this and chill it down. Cheers. Right. This is our bourbon stout. <clears throat> Do it twice. And we are doing a 30 minute boil today. <laughs> 30 minute boil? Yep. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Nope. What? I'm just doing an abbreviated boil. You don't have to boil for 60 minutes. Oh, there is my timer for the pizza. To be continued, I will right. return. Uh, the recipe for, let's see, the, the, um, the, the bourbon, yeah, the, the stout that she's drinking, yeah, that, that is uh, Larry's recipe. Yep. It is, it is. Yeah, it turned out amazing for sure. All right, let me get my Apera. Something interesting about the Apera um, pH meter, you know, normally a lot of uh, manufacturers say to like put it in storage solution or whatever. They actually say just put like a drop of water in there, which is kind of cool. So, um, and I've, I've had good luck with it so far. So, all right, let's, uh, let me switch to the mash camera here so we can take a reading and I'll try to show you. Let me see if I can get this out of here without getting water in it. Yay, did it. All right. Should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 5.2 to 5.3. So let's see where we get. Let's see where we are here. Yeah, maybe I didn't nail it. It's still 5.5, .5, so, oh, 5.4, it's still going down. One of the things I do find it takes a little bit, since the, the sensor is, is generally pretty dry, if you don't put, like, don't put it in storage solution, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to get an accurate reading. So, I think my calculator was like 5.34 or something like that, so I don't know if you guys can see. It's 5.4. You can see it. I'm assuming you can see it. Yeah, so we are within conversion range. I'll take it. I thought I could have put a little bit more. Um, thought I could have put a little more lactic acid in there, quite frankly, but I was just following what Brewfather had. So we'll see where we land on efficiency-wise. Take a. Let's take a. Oh yeah, she's a converting. I guess we could break out the old uh, easy dens and see where we are with uh, gravity. What do you think? Here's our messy pizza. <laughs> you can bring it up underneath of the up underneath of there. Here's our messy pizza that I doctored. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, you can move all that stuff out of the way. All right, let's see here. I don't even know where we are on the mash, quite honestly. Let me see where we are on the mash. Pizza! <laughs> yeah, we are halfway through the mash, 31 minutes. A little bit, little bit farther than that if you count the 15, 10, 15 minute rest. Let me okay. put this thing in the... Uh, mode here. I think you guys can see that. Turn this on. Can you guys see that okay? I think you can. Do this. You're gonna picture. have to smile and fake it. I don't think it's like cooked as thoroughly as you like, like overcooked. Yep. Not what I wanted to do. 
Hmm. All right, there we go. Now it's a little bit more. All right, here we go. So, are we connected? All right, let's see where we are here. It needs a few more minutes. You're going to be like, it's not done enough. I'll be right back. All right, so we're connecting. One point zero six seven, right now. Is where we are. All right. <clears throat> Let me. Uh, I am using a uh, Easy Dens. Uh, it's an easy density meter, and it's by Anton Parr. It's not the cheapest in the world, but I tell you what, I, I, I absolutely love it for taking gravity readings, quite honestly, because it's just, it's so easy and there's such a little, such a little amount that you need to, to do it. And it'll also, it'll also track your uh, ABV and all that stuff. Uh, let's see where we're, I have, because I have a big sparge to do yet. So let me see what the, what the uh, pre-boil gravity is supposed to be on this thing. Uh, let's see here. Pre-boil gravity is supposed to be 1049, so eh, we'll probably be okay. By the time we sparge and all that stuff, plus we're doing a 30 minute boil, so it doesn't, doesn't have a lot of opportunity to, to, uh, boil off. I can always boil for a little longer if I want to, though. If for some reason we get everything collected and the uh, gravity is a little bit too low, I can boil for a little bit longer. Because I, uh, I do calculate for an 11-gallon batch. So just to give myself, a little bit of, give myself a little bit of leeway and wiggle room in case there's something that is goofy or whatever. So if there's too much trub in the kettle, I can leave a little bit behind and... So, I know it's sacrilege to not put everything in the fermenter. Do I have pizza on my face? What's that? Yes, all over. No, do I? It's not to your standards. I put it back uh, in. It has to be with, um, uh, like well done. So you do abbreviate? Um, I, I, uh, I haven't done any abbreviated boils on my New England IPAs, but there's no reason why you can't. I mean, especially since... A lot of those beers are so lightly hopped on the the boil, and a lot of the hopping is done at the uh, at the whirlpool stage. There's no reason why you can't. I mean, there's you know, as far as any kind of DMS or anything like that, the the grains that we have nowadays are so much better. So I wouldn't see I wouldn't foresee an issue with that at all. Okay, who did you leave off with? What's that? Did you check the gravity? Big beer. Yep. Hey, Brian, how's it going? I didn't realize that was you from Thrash Life. Cool. Pizza status. I put it back in the oven because Brian likes it really well Looking done. Pretty good. I put more um, sauce on it, so okay. I okay. just want it really well. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Mm, it smells good. Yeah, the Anton Parr Easy Dens is what I use to check the gravity with there. Um, they also have a, I think it's an Easy Easy Ref, Easy Easy Refs or Easy. It's an Easy it an app? Refractometer. Well, it's the app connects to the device, right. yeah. so they have a digital or a, a refractometer. Let's see what is it called. Fingers all wet. Do you want more Gatorade or anything? No, I'm good. Let's see here. What is it called? Smart ref. So they have a refractometer that's also like that. They so. keep wanting to block thrash. Brian's <laughs> are cool. Like show. You have to go across. I know. I did it already. Uh, duh. I'm not computer illiterate, honey. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have the, I didn't bother to set up the. Thank you, thrash. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So Justin Thomas says, what about uh, post fermentation? Like at the Dean's list, homebrewery mentioned, can it check? Yes. Yes, it, it will. It will check because it, it's not a refractometer. It's, a, it's actually a density meter. So it, if you put in the put in the you save the original gravity, then it will tell you. It makes sense. What the, though, what but the gravity is. Yeah. yeah. 
So you have two yep. different ones? Because I didn't know we had that. No, that, I use the same one there. Okay. Because a lot of people will use a, a uh, hydrometer after, okay. after fermentation, but the easy dens, it yeah, will... Yeah, that makes sense. It will, it'll, it'll take a reading after fermentation. Yep. I mean, it makes Ooh. sense. Yep. <laughs> hey, Matthew. Nice to have you. First time watching. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matthew. Cheers, my friend. And the Dean's List said that's terrific compatibility. Yep, <laughs> yep, exactly. Nice t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah, Jesse has done some uh, some advertising for uh, Into the AM. I did a I did one uh, advertisement for them once upon a time. And, uh, but uh, it's, they have some pretty cool shirts. Only trust Kelly. That's right, Thrash. Us old timers who don't compute very Dude, well. Dude, I that. have to be <laughs> on the alert with him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, de yeah, definitely, Chris. It definitely saves on work for sure. Old timers who don't compute very easily still use hydrometers and fire. Right? <laughs> and fire. <laughs> <laughs> fire the hawks anything you know the wolves the stars shout out to thrash pour one of the uh <laughs> pour this let's see if this beer is still farty that's you uh, i can't believe right. you just said that it's like you need ib guard or something right it's okay yeah there's still a little bit of sulfur to it this is the... Uh, but it also makes you farty. <laughs> this is the smash lager that I did. It's wonderful. One grain, wonderful. one hop, right? Yeah, it's a single malt, single hop. Single so malt, single malt. hop. It's still a little cloudy. I'm actually doing some fining in the fermenter right now. It's delicious, though. Yeah, it, it has a little bit of sulfur, You can't too, smell it. But you can drink yeah. it. Yeah. Like I didn't <laughs> smell it when I drank it. Yeah, the the aroma is not the most pleasant in the world. It's, it's still just, doing it's a little off gassing yet, of sulfur, but yeah. Flavor's great. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nummy. Mm -hmm. it's just... Actually, has a real floral. You kind of know what you're doing. That's yeah. what I just say. <laughs> no, it's really maybe. I, I might Stella. know what I'm doing. Stella. Oh. Aw, Thrash. Thank you, Kelly. Miss you guys. We miss you. Nice looking. He's talking about you, Brian. Yeah, I know. Beer <laughs> Boy Nation looks right. great, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about your beer. I know. <laughs> um, okay, it looks great, Brian. That's awesome. Justin, me too, but that might make me consider the splurge. What's that? With the Dean? Oh, oh, he's talking about the, the Easy Dens. Oh, okay. Man's like he's part. gonna go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks very crisp. It is happy brewer. Yeah. So sulfur, sulfur will generally go away over time. Another thing you can do too is you can, you can. Um, it's it's good burp. if we could leave it alone. You can burp the keg, like <laughs> agitate it, burp the keg, <laughs> agitate it, burp the keg. We're that, so excited. We just try food. stuff all the time. It's just <laughs> we can't help it. It's like you're making a new recipe and you yep. want to try it. It's like yep. chili. Yep. I try my chili all the time before I ship. Yeah, thrash. By the time sulfur is gone, the keg will be empty. Yeah, right. Exactly. Ah, uh, the dean is giving me a shout out for my shirt. All right, I'm gonna crank my up beer the beer brew uh, periodically. Just a little bit. So far, we haven't had a stuck mash, so that's good. Uh, cold crashing does help a little bit, but it's there, fun it's, to wear it when I'm grocery shopping. Yeah, people look at me funny. They're like, "What are you? What? What is that? The periodic? What is yeah, that? Mm, the table." This this logger was done. Um, I used diamond logger mm. under pressure, uh, like 15 psi, and it was done in about four or five days. So I mean, there's still there's some some when it ate, once it ages a little bit, it'll it'll definitely um, it'll it'll off gas a little bit more of the sulfur. I probably could have let it sit for a little bit longer before I threw it because I, I had an empty bay in the kegerator, so I threw it in there to kind of cold crash. And then I also put some. I'm doing a video right now about. I mess with people in the grocery in the, store, the deans. I'm doing a video right now about putting <laughs> findings in the in the fermenter just to see if it'll clear out completely. And so I far, I mean, wear your T-shirt. Give it. To yeah, me. so far it's uh, so far it's pretty clear. It's it it's, is. Uh, it's beautiful. It's only a couple honey, days. I'm sorry. And there was a ton of trub in there too, so. 
It's my fault that you're paranoid because I mm. couldn't smell it, but it tastes good. I have never, ever cared about clear beer, honestly. Okay. But since I started messing with some lagers and stuff, it's like a challenge. So like, I'm, It is a big challenge. Yeah, I'm going to try. See what I can do. I noticed that every time I had an odor, it only lasts a little while using Carlson Carb Method. Hmm. At, what is that method? Yeah. Active yeast under Krausen pressure. Carb. He's talking about like fermenting oh, under pressure. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. It just ringed a bell. Yep. Okay. Active yeast. Yep. Uh, under pressure. Absolutely. You guys know your stuff. It's just so fun doing this. You know, it's just a fun thing. Hmm. It might be the wiring because I just moved the, the control panel and the pump shut off and I wiggled the wire again and it came back on. So I'll have to, I'll have to check the plugs and see if that's what it is because that, that uh, kind of seems like what it might be. So I'll have to pull the plugs apart and see. Could be Again? something inside the control panel too. No, oh. I'm, I'm just talking about I, the... We're not going to have a fire, are we? No. No, we're good. Oh, I just shut off again. <clears throat> That's so weird. Hmm. Yeah, Gravity. Something, something's not making a good sucks. connection there. Brewing is therapy. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It's good Absolutely. therapy. Absolutely. So is birding. I love seasonal birding. Do you guys watch yeah. birds at all? Because they're so fun. Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's absolutely it's it's awesome to. I I definitely enjoy it as much. For sure. All right, so we got eighteen minutes, and then we'll your pizza start gonna be doing done some. Like we'll raise four. it. I don't even know if I'm going to raise it up for mash out. Quite honestly, probably just go ahead and roll with it. Really. Shorts happen, yeah. <laughs> Shorts happen. That's a t-shirt. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go check the pizza. Good lacing on that beer. Yeah. For sure. The logo glass. That is a good beer. There's just enough bitterness to uh, counteract the sweetness of the malt. And the hops really come through great on it, too. I tell you, they're really, really good. They're uh, Czech Saws hops. They have, uh, have a little bit of a herbal floral aroma and flavor to them. Very good. It's definitely crushable. Could have way too many of them too fast. <laughs> come on now. Get my salts back on here. <sighs> All right. Yeah, you can catch them on sale from time to time, Kevin, and uh, get a deal on them. The Smart Ref is, a, I think it's about $100 cheaper or maybe even a little bit more than that. Be looking good. Got a nice uh, amber color to it. So, just a little bit of chocolate malt and some Vienna malt in there. Should be should be a good drinkable one as well. I'm I'm working on filling the kegerator right now. I got two I got two three tap kegerators, so I'm working on trying to fill all six all six taps. That's tough to do whenever both parties in the house drink beer <laughs> it, it's it's not easy to do let me get a place for the pizza to rest when it comes down uh, put my stuff away if you can put the pizza down. All righty. Uh, what's the longest you've had a beer in a keg for? Let's see. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what would... Maybe a couple of months, something like that. Um, I think I brewed a 
what did I brew one time? I brewed a brown ale or something that I didn't really didn't like too much, and it was just like it sat there for a while. Uh, you can also buy it directly from the company in Austria. Okay, cheaper with no tax. Okay, homebrew store had no chocolate rye today. Wonder if there's something, some sort of shortage. I don't know. That's a good question. I'm not sure. You know, I mean, it, uh, depending on where you are, um, you know, there's been some, there's been some rail catastrophes. I don't want to go into all that stuff, but I'm just saying that, you know, there has been some, uh, some railroad issues recently. And uh, that could be one of those things because that stuff does get transported by, by train, I believe. I know there's not, probably not huge quantities of it, but it does get transported by train. So there's a good chance that that could be part of the issue. Whew. That, uh, that element got a little bit warm didn't burn it out or anything but I forgot to turn it off and I was draining all the liquid out so it definitely had a little smell to it little smell and it'll be all right it'll be all right once we get some fresh wort in there on it it'll be great uh, yeah Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, with the train stuff going on, there's been more than one issue with trains recently, so that could be affecting some of it. For sure. All right. Andy B. Had a hazy come out super bitter and stayed in the kegerator for almost... Okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah? No kidding. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've done that before, too, where I'll overbid or something, and uh, it's just not that great. So, all okay, right. Here we are. All right, pizza, all right, all right. Pizza revision number two. Right. I just I just know you, and you need it. I put too much sauce on it, but it needed oh. more sauce. Yeah. That's all right. Do you want a fork? No, I'm good. I'm Hungary, I'm Hungary right now, so. I don't know. Ugh. I'm a little nervous oh. about you not having a fork. Yeah, sit down. Thank you. Pizza <laughs> challenge. Cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bite. Mm. I put crushed pepper flakes on it. Mm-hmm. In the sauce. Good stuff. <laughs> What's the longest anybody's ever aged a homebrew for? As far as like cellaring it or whatever. What? Uh, what have you guys done on that? Mm. Oop! I hit the wall. <laughs> Those hips. I think you hear me chew in the in the camera. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Oh wow. Okay. About four years. <laughs> you did <it> on purpose. <laughs> I'm at four years and going. Okay, cool. I have a hard time I have a hard time uh, letting stuff age that long. <laughs> no, I do. I do too. <laughs> no, it's good though. Especially if it's really good. Leo has sent us stuff and um, mm -hmm. SJ. Are you kidding me right mm -hmm. now? They're amazing. Yep. They could open a brewery. Yeah, SJ, SJ um, Poor has a YouTube channel. He sent us some of the um, Revolution Barrel Project beers. Mm, really good. Really, really good. Leo's stuff. Oh, my oh, yeah. gosh. His was really good, too. Yep. Crazy. It's just so beautiful how people can do that. I mean, do it. I'm cool. having like quarter glasses of this cool, cool. bourbon shit. I mean, stuff. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what the revolution part of it was. Um, SJ is definitely a uh, a patriot, so it may be. I mean, he may just named it that for for that reason. I don't know if he got the. It's amazing. Maybe the barrel was from somewhere. Everything was smooth. Mike could probably tell us. Mike is Mike is more in more contact, <laughs> I think, with SJ than I am, but um, I'm not sure. 
Um, so Beer Koi said revolution is nice. Chicago. Is that what you were just talking about? Where'd you end yeah, up? Yeah. Okay. Sorry that. Some of my spirits have been on oak for five years. <laughs> These lists, hang on. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know she said spirits. Huh? No, she said spirits. Who? The one that you said been on, on oak for five years. Andy B? Some of my spirits. Oh. Not beer, spirits. I know, but she. Huh? You said she said spirits. That's Andy. No, I said... He said... Oh, I thought you said she. I said, notice he said. I said it. Okay, Probably sound like she when I said notice sure he. I'm in the right place. Okay. Wow. It's great. Um, okay, Kevin Hill says, My wife says I drink too much. Is drinking five gallons every month too much? I have no idea. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Do you work out... Judge not, lest you be judged, right? <laughs> How have things been going, Major, at the Dean's? Oh, he's hitting him. In. Tongue twisters. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Super vascular. Yep. There you go. That's exactly. about working out. In the summer, five gallons is lucky to last a week. Yeah, Here right. Here, Koi said. Well, right, because you're mowing the lawn. Oh, yeah, I mean, I could, I could see that. With, you're with, walking outside. You're looking out the window. Yeah, you're sitting watching TV. All those TV. activities require beer. All of them. The Dean's List. Great thrash. Oh. Okay, the Dean's List had um, a left foot problem. Okay, we hope you're healing. Oh, wow. I keep people in my prayers. Recently opened uh, one and a half liters of Lambic. What, in 2018? Wow. Hmm. From wow. Cantillion? Net to now. Hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thrash has been busy with her horses. Been doing a ton of work at the horse rescue. Oh, that's so great. I always wanted to have a horse. Mm -hmm. You know, just to let run around. <laughs> Truth, he said he's afraid to try him. <laughs> hmm. All right, we got eight minutes. Great. That's I'm looking in the, the view here, and my hip is there. Of course it is. Where, here? Yes. I'm just like, <laughs> where? I did work out today, but whatever. Hip in the shot. I'm not going to look like the Hollywood people because I can't, unless yeah. that's my job. Well, good thing, because I'm not either. God's work right there. Yep. The Dean's List. <laughs> wow, Mike Ring recently opened some late 2000s Dark Lord. Wow. Ooh. That's crazy. <laughs> Fine looking couple. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> I put YouTube on here and we dance down here too. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> right. I make him dance. Birkoy, I tell Mrs. Birkoy, a woman without hips is like a car without tires. A <laughs> car without tires, yeah, right. You, you're mm. not moving right. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. It's just I look in the video and there's my hip. I'm like, oh, okay. That girl needs to eat. <laughs> no, I. No, I'm talking about if yeah. they, you know. Yeah. They don't have any hips. Okay, I'm going to stand right here because my <laughs> hip was over there all the time just trying to read. Uh, okay. You're killing me. All right. <laughs> Justin Thomas, you got that right. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take the output from the... The output from the input? Yep, the output from the input. And we'll put it in the throughput. That's right. To make it all put. That's right. Because if you can't put, you can't we'll have beer. Out. Exactly. Do you want me to do something? You can hold this. I just over here. I feel so useless. I'm like I understand what you're doing, but I just can't help you because you do it all. Okay. Well, it's just it's kind of a one person. I operation. know. I don't know. I don't know. I just would like color coding hoses. Yeah, I understand. Because that's me. Yep, I get it. All right, let me. Uh, this here. I love those. What yep. the? Ooh, that's hot. All right, you can take it off now. I'm going to put oh, it right there. Okay, yeah. I was going to do it for you. Up. Okay. Turn this off. 
Doing it. Yep, doing it. Whoop, whoop. All and, right. But you're still like draining yeah, here. Turn that off over there. Yeah. The faucet leaks leaks for some reason. So. Uh, oh, I gotta try food. it. You would try it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, um, yeah, and pizza then pour, burp. Whatever, pour whatever you want in the in the. Uh... What? Oh, what am I thinking here? I can't think right now. Well, you need to. All right, here we go. Hmm. I was gonna try it. Try it. Go ahead. But you need this again, right? No. No, I was gonna say whatever you, whatever's left after you try it, dump it in the boil kettle. Hmm. Right. Oh no, that's an amber. Hmm. No, there's nothing left. <laughs> okay. It's just a flavor profile. It is what it is. Turn this on. All right, and we'll start draining a little bit into here. Trash said, thanks, Dean. I really hope you heal fast so you can get back to normality. Absolutely. Beer Koi Nation. Kingpin quote. I didn't want to tell that woman with hips that she can only rear six or seven kids. <laughs> I've had one. Anyway, yeah, super vascular. I felt that's me as you bash the microphone. <laughs> oh, my God. Did we bash the microphone? Who, me? I don't know. Sorry. Did we do that? <laughs> I tried I know, not to. It's hard to say for sure. Oh, no, man. <laughs> just keep on going. Right? <laughs> it was all you, hip lady. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yes. I am the hip lady. You can see the color on that there. <laughs> At least we figured out with that. Okay, cool. Do you like the pizza? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like the pepperoni. Good. And I put hot pepper flakes in it red pepper yeah i'm the hip lady not quite as clear as i would have maybe hoped for but why not because of the whole yeah probably thing. The, the, the grind that i did on it was a little bit fine because so. you had to put um, holes in and stuff like that yeah well i mean it, the grind you know, was a to little make bit it thicker yeah because it was too thin yep well What's the setting that you had then on the grain? I had it turned two notches down from normal. So what should so it be it, in this recipe? It should, well, it should be well, on them. Are you going to post this recipe so you can put the I don't right? Know. Maybe. Oh, I think you should. It smells amazing. Maybe I will. <laughs> we'll see. Brian. Well, you know. All right, what are those exposed heat, heating elements like cleaning wipes? They're not bad. I mean, I just mainly um, uh, have to, I just do PBW in there and then take like a, a bottling brush and just swirl around them. I, I, don't, I don't find any issue with them at all, really. Sometimes if, if they're very gunky, like got a lot of residue oh, on them, I'll let them sit the overnight with, P, um, with PBW on them. But other than that, they're pretty good. Yeah, the wart, she's a little bit... Uh, a little bit uh, cloudy. Oh. Turn this down a little bit. Okay. Must have had it turned down just a little bit enough, enough for it to get hung up there. SJ said the roof. Okay, yep, yep. That's that's exactly that's exactly what I said. Mike was that I figured him being the patriot that he is, he probably named the barrel that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I figured. Do you have a hard time keeping the Herms coil clean? No. Whenever. Whenever when Kelly coil, oh. is here. Yes. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> what what I do is. I actually take the water from the hot liquor tank and run it through the Herms coil in order to do this parging. So basically there's several gallons of liquid that runs through the, the Herms coil and basically cleans it out every brew day. So, I mean, it's when you, you know, you're running hot water through it. So it's like, there's no, and there's no places for anything to get caught up in there. So other than maybe like a, uh, 
valve or something like that, but I, I haven't had any issues. Looking good so far. Yeah, OxyClean. Yep, yep. Yeah, if you if you if you put if you mix uh, OxyClean, OxyClean and TSP, awesome. I guess mm -hmm. that's the same thing as PBW, from what I understand. Yep. Oh, actually, yes. Well, this is not really uh, doing a whole lot, I don't think. How many live streams have you done, Brian? I remember Ooh. doing a brew day once at the same time as one of your streams, Justin Thomas. Um. I think probably 29 Ugh. I, at least I, I think probably probably 20 or 30 at least I, I don't know for sure exactly how many but something like that because I remember when we first did one you would you turned off the heat it was freezing and you wouldn't let me crack a joke which is not me no that's a beer review not a live oh, stream whatever it was just so <laughs> that was bad. a beer review I don't care. Not a live stream. Dude, we started a long time ago. I know. I know. Wow, 30. Yeah, probably 30. Yeah, I think something like that. Fine, fight, fight. Oh, cleaning kegs, okay. <laughs> fight, fight. My comment was referring to no. cleaning kegs. <laughs> no fighting. <laughs> no, we shall fight in a fun way. Mm -hmm. We shall arm wrestle and settle it later. Yep, yep, the old place. Oh, Thrash. Yeah. Yep. Thrash has been there a long time. Yep, sure has. Do you care if I turn the fan down? It's like too no, much. No, 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 You turn it on. It's on. It's just too much. Unless okay. you're hot. Are you no, okay? I want to turn it down to medium instead of high full blast. How much am I, how much water am I supposed to be collecting? I gotta yeah, remember. Yeah, I don't know. Twelve point six five gallons. <laughs> Brian's never hot. <laughs> Twelve point six five gallons. Blackwood brews. Thrash, yeah, he's never hot. I've never had women in my face. <laughs> we won't go there. Girl, right. I'll take care of business. Uh, we are brewing a uh, amber lager today. So, just doing the uh, sparge right now. And uh, actually, you know, I think I could probably, I could probably put the the... Let's see. What's your brewing today? Yeah, Amber yep. for Blackwood. Just go ahead and tell them. Beer core, are you going to longer it? No, I'm going I'm to do a, a pressure fermentation. Okay. Nope, we're going to do a pressure fermentation. I'm sure they heard cool. you. <coughs> Richie W. Hi guys. Tuning in from Ireland again. Just rip. Wow, congratulations. American Wheat. How did, that's awesome, Richie. Welcome. Happy brewing. Alrighty. Thrash is like, is it in line of the flat tire? Um, Excuse me, the pizza. No, I didn't use any crystal malts in it or anything like that. I just used a little oh, bit, is that little what bit it of chocolate is? malt. There, there are some crystal malts in flat tire, from okay. what I remember. Because we brewed it once. <laughs> yeah, we brewed it once. <laughs> he said, okay. Hi, bud. Come make a debut. You is a good boy. He says, oof. It's the brew cat. You know, he was asleep over there on the chair earlier. Here's our 15 point whatever <laughs> brew cat. Mm. Say hi. Mm. You say hi. He's a booger. Give mommy boops. He's a booger. My office is right off of the brewery here. I work from home and um, 
there's a there's a box i got i got something from somewhere i can't remember what it was it was amazon or whatever and so he liked the box a lot so i put it up on my desk in the corner and he he jumps up in there and like sleeps in that box for most of the day when i'm working it's kind of cute um russell Hillman said what are you pressure um what are you pressure fermenting in in the g4 yes the g4 fermenter <clears throat> i just have to blink my eyes are dry um, Justin Thomas said, I came in late on the stream. Did you already mention the ingredients or did you plan on doing that on that? I know. Are you going to put the, the um, recipe on here? With Brew Father, you got to do a bunch of stuff and add photos and all kinds of stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the recipe is. It's, can you do a PDF? I can. Okay. But then I have to figure out a place to put it that they can download it. So, um, or just, it's, uh, they could do a screenshot. Yeah. So it's 12 pounds of Pilsner malt, 10 pounds of Vienna malt, and a half pound of chocolate malt. That's it. And then I'm using Newport hops. Oops. Baby Bring back, those of you that remember Newport cigarettes. <laughs> That's not this, but. Isn't that malt or Newport hops baby. for the bittering, and then oh, I'll be God. using. Um, I do remember that. Uh, I never smoked. UK but I Kent Goldings that. for aroma. Uh, what's your opinion on too much headspace? I would say if your if your headspace is double what the batch size is, that's probably too much. Mm -hmm. Agree with Thrash Life, Justin. Okay. What's the benefit of a three vessel brew house? And also, you know, that must be a nightmare. It is a lot to clean, but oh, at the grain, if you're doing a grain beer, it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, some people, some people just like the, like the sparge and the control and all that stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know, honestly, that there's that much of a benefit. I mean, because a lot of the all-in-one systems have come a long ways. I like brewing on it because it feels like a commercial brewery, quite honestly. Um, the way it feels. Swapping the hoses around and all that stuff. Some people, I don't chase efficiency very much, but some people get upwards of 90% efficiency on a, a, a three-vessel system. I, like I said, I don't chase efficiency that much. But, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it is, it's not hard to use. The only thing really that is difficult to clean is really the mash tun. Because, you know, even an all-in-one system, you got to clean the mash basket or mash bag or whatever, whatever mash process. Mash cleaner. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you do. <laughs> Coolness. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> street cred is the, is the biggest thing for the three-vessel system. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit more to clean, but not, not much. I mean, your hot liquor tank is, there's nothing to clean with it. The mash tun, you got to clean it out. But like I said, you got you'd have to clean a basket or a bag on all in one system. Fresh said, you gotta, you gotta "Prunes is so out, easy. So. Boil and then later tun. That's all." What's that? Um, Thrash said, "Herms is so easy. Boil and later." Yep. Daichi. Stop it. Anyway, and Gamda Brewing said, "Coolness." Richie W said, "Yeah, it looks amazing. I'm hoping to build a brewery in my garden soon, and would love to have something like that. It is fun." Yeah, I mean, there's no. I mean, that was you, me. you can make perfectly, you can make perfectly fine beer on an all-in-one system that, that just as well as you can with this. But it's just, it's kind of the, the process is a little more intensive. It's a little, it's just, you know, it's just more more stuff to jack with. You know, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where it kind of comes down to whatever you want to do. I, when I first got into electric brewing, this was a system like the electricbrewery.com was kind of the, the pioneer of brewing electrically. Um, I think the Grainfather was the only other electric brewing system out at that point in time. Maybe the Speedle Braumeister, but I wanted to mimic that um, just because it was. Justin Thomas said, you know, "Same here. I have a two 15-gallon kettles, 10-gallon mash tun. I do all my cleaning during the boil." Mm -hmm. He's very organized. Yeah. And Kevin Hill said, "I am using the rims." Yeah, it's a recirculation mm -hmm. infusion yeah. mass. So he's got like a, a tube that the wort runs through to heat. I ha I did that initially and wound up scorching several batches and 
Why? Wanted to throw the rims too. I just, I didn't build it properly. It was my fault, but. Okay. Well, know, I'm so. just wondering. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. Well, we're all human. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Dean's List, uh, great answer, Brian. That's exactly why I like my three vessel system. It feels like I'm brewing on a commercial yep. system. I yep. do too. I believe that. I, yep. Um, I love the Fermentosaurus and mm -hmm. I love the Robo Brew, mm -hmm. but yes, yep. when it comes to Herms, um, Bear Koi said, I only have two vessel systems, never done the three vessel. Hmm. 10 gallon igloo. Oh, yes. And 15 gallon direct fire kettle was my first. Mm -hmm. You know about that. Yep. For sure. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a, um, um, oh, what is it called? I'm trying to hide my head. Dang it. Okay. Um, anyways, so Robert Reitenhouse said, oh, yeah. Wow, okay. Um, I remember that setup, the electric brewery. I used the dream of making that system someday. It is, I hope you get it because it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I, like, I, I, I would never get rid of it. I mean, I have, I have most every all-in-one system that's out there, but I just, I just enjoy brewing on this beer, on this system. I know, system. It's and fun. Brian, it's you know, if your wife or whoever so your significant other is yeah. up to it, yeah, the, the other it'll thing take too. like 10 years, you'll get one. Anyway, that wasn't our goal. It's just about fun. <clears throat> That's awesome. The other thing too is um, I think people enjoy watching someone brew on it because I, I put a yeah, poll out on my YouTube we channel up. It's on real. the community page and like That's why pizza 300 is good. and almost 400 votes and over 33% of people wanted to see a brew day on the three vessel system so and believe me i love it because if brian wasn't here i wouldn't do a video because i'm a <laughs> stage fright like crazy but i'm very confident mm. with it because even though i would like the um tubing colored no i don't want to be on the the video <laughs> brian i just want them to hear me i voice over it's so fun yeah yep. mm -hmm. okay so let's keep going um uh, oh yeah i remember that setup okay I have got 90 plus, but I love the clarity I get on mine. I think Wayne, Wayne, are you talking about, uh, you have a three vessel system? He's talking about a circulation. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Larry? Boo, Larry, I'm drinking your beer, man. It's young. <laughs> Wait to be seated for a wine pairing. Well, let's see. First, Larry was at the auto show. Now he's at a wine tasting. Man, you, you have the life, Larry. I mean, what's, what's the deal? You know, where do I sign up? Let's do it. <laughs> Larry, your hey, bourbon beer is the bomb mm. dot freaking calm. Awesome. Awesome, Dave. A okay, sippy three sippy. Okay, cool. I feel very fun. Okay, so, okay. Beer Koi Nation, the kettle rims work great. Yeah. Stefan Mueller, am I saying that right? I recently obtained a two vessel Herms. Oh, awesome. Turned over, turned out over time. Separated boil <coughs> kettle. He separated the boil kettle. The story, the story behind the the vent hood, uh, Mike is. Where I just wanted something that would cover the whole system just for aesthetic purposes. Stefan, that's um, great. I've got a 460 CFM oh, fan out invented. in the garage that pulls all the stuff out. Um, it does. I could use a little bit larger CFM, maybe 600 plus, but. It, it does a good job. I mean, it pulls out like, I'd say probably 85 to 90% of the steam. Um, the only thing I have some issues with is it does condensate a little bit and drip. I have some plans to maybe try to create some, install some like aluminum channels around <coughs> at least the far end of it and then have a tube running down to like a jug or something and catch it. But I don't know. It's one of those things I just, you know. I, okay. Plans, plans within plans, you know. Stephen Mueller, he just well. recently obtained a two vessel herm system, turned it out over time, and separate the boil kettle, and can be omitted when boiling the HLT, the hot liquor tank. So one less yep. kettle to clean. Yep. See, that's good. Thrash, I have the same setup as Brian, 15 gallon herms. Beer Koi, three vessel in an education for us, two vessel jockeys. Hmm? Um, Beer Koi Nation three vessel is an education for oh, okay. us to yeah, and then <clears throat> Twin Monkey said I used old kegs in my system and keg fermenting too all hand okay cool, and then of course Larry steps in and says hi y'all, <laughs> <laughs> and the mic drops. <laughs> 
know, it's awesome. And okay, you see. Sound like a good weekend, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he's mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Okay, Stefan Mueller said it's however noteworthy that you're not sparging them. The few liters running through the Herms coil to clean it is considered a mini sparge. Do you believe that? What is it? Okay. Um, Stefan Mueller said, it's also, however, noteworthy that you're not sparging then. The few liters running through the Herms coil to clean it. Oh, is okay. Yeah, because he went one less. I got you. I got you. Cheers, Larry. Happy Brew Day, Brian. Dave Harris. Your channel helped me build my control panel years ago. Love my three vessel system. Cool. Awesome sauce. Good deal. Happy, happy. <laughs> Cheers to you, Dave. Wayne Rose said, correct, three vessel. Okay. Hmm. Beer Coin Nation, Uncle Lair. How's it, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, Uncle Larry. Grandpa Lair. Anyway, yep. two monkeys homebrewing. Larry, cheers. Thrash life. Slow down, brother. Um, the Dean's List said, that's one major event hood. What's the story behind? I already answered that. Well, can you answer it again? There's no, no, I already answered it. <laughs> I'm not answering it again. It's a light hood, but that's a good story. Yes, he did build it. The Dean's List. Thank you for asking. Okay, Larry said, doing well. Been out watching the new Ant-Man movie with my son on a date with my wife. Oh my God, your wife is going to hate us, Larry. Don't even date her and be with us too. Because I don't <laughs> like Brian when he does that kind of crap. Anyway, I feel... Anyway... Stephen Mueller, a steam condenser was not an option? Um, there weren't steam condensers really on the market whenever I did the system down here. Um, I don't I don't mind a steam condenser. Larry, but that's not a date. Sorry. I don't know. I just they just use a lot they use quite a bit of water and I don't know. I just I like an open boil kettle myself personally. Mm -hmm. I don't see any, there's nothing wrong with a steam condenser if you want to use one. I you know, I got no problem with it. And then I ain't looking down my nose at my off of my vent hood. Middle said, "Get back to your horses at Thrash," with a winky. <laughs> Beer Coin Nation said, "Twin monkeys build his own keg fermenters. He has some nice ones." Okay. Kevin Hill, I have a steam condenser, but use a lot of water. But yeah. it uses a lot of water. Yep. Okay. Thrash Life, love ya at Middle Fra. Rash Life did a horse, and they're all like happy, happy. And then you Stefan. You don't need to read every comment. I care, bro. <laughs> you don't need to read every comment. I want to. I don't no. want to miss something. They might be talking to you. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Sorry, guys. I'm going to read every damn thing. Really, Brian? Oh, really? Really? Okay. Mm, not reading. Alexa. <laughs> not reading. I'm not reading. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, boring, boiling in the HLT, so not really sparging. Um. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm reading everything. Apparently, I'm probably <laughs> Kalexa. <laughs> what? Kalexa. Kalexa. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Go, Kelly. <laughs> Dang it. We care about it all. I do. Mm. And Brian does. And yeah, I don't care at all. Right. Anyway, I just... I'm just trying to be that person. Okay, because I care. This is why Kelly's awesome. Every comment matters. That's right. That's right. Brian might differ with that. <laughs> Kelly, what the? What? What? Okay, anyway. Yes, water waste might be an issue. Kelly's the best. Oh, thank you, Gam Dud. I love that. I, I love saying Gam Dud. I say it to our kid. I'm like, you're Gam Dud. Okay, here's a new question. Mm, nefarious Rogue, where did the brew periodically shirt come Oh, this is my shirt. It's from the H Bro system, guys. The, yep. um, they make a RO system, like a portable RO system. I think they sell them on their website. Chemical stuff. If you, if you come over to the camera and you can turn around, it'll show the company, Kelly. Oh, I will, but I was just reading. Okay. There it is. To the right. Kalexa. 
<laughs> Kalexa. Kalexa, you can't retire. What are hobbies you have, Kelly and Brian? Christian. Um, we brew beer. <laughs> no. We drink beer. <laughs> no. No, we like fishing. And birds. I like guns. I know that's weird, but anyway. Family at Bruce Gellers Day. Absolutely, Wayne. Natanel, my I my my cans that I have were labeled from um uh October can seamers. You can you can actually send them a PDF of the label that you want and they'll actually label the cans. I know there's a cost for it, but the way I designed mine, I designed them with a blank space in certain areas. And then I print stickers that are weatherproof to put in those places. So there's a couple of places where put the name and then the stats of the beer in another sticker. So you didn't miss anything, Leo. No catastrophe so far. Uh, Kelly read every comment while you were gone. So if you want to do the replay, you don't have to read the comments. You can just listen to her. She read all of them. So she, she narrated all the comments. So there's that. Um, bu -bu -bu, SJ named the barrel that because everything that went into it was a revolution. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> there you go. All right. Let's see. We're coming up on 12 gallons now. Let's see where we are here. Boy, we are almost empty there. Let me turn that pump off. <laughs> All right, uh, 12.65 gallons. So just over 12 and a half gallons. We're getting there. Our mash ton liquid is pretty clear. So, definitely draining. <clears throat> I told Leo you narrated all the comments. He's asked what he missed. I told him you narrated all the comments. So if he wants to watch, he won't have to, uh, he won't have to read the comments as he's watching the replay. Good. <laughs> all right. Coming down the home stretch here. The home brewer's wife is plugged back in. That's right. Kalexa <laughs> online. Kalexa. <laughs> that is hysterical. <laughs> Hello. I am Kalexa. Okay, where did you end up? Recently got a Silhouette Cameo 4 cutter. Okay. Where did what? I don't know where you ended up out oh, here. Oh, I was just reading them as they came up. I just have to give a shout out to Larry again about this towel. Yeah. Yo, holla. Absolutely. It's so beautiful and you sleep really good. Just adding that. Uh, right about 12 and a half, so we will be pretty close here. Do, 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 do. All right, I think we're good. Turn this thing off. The sounds of silence. Don't All even right, make me say. Okay, anyway. Pre-boil gravity sample here. Let me stir this up really good. Get okay, everything Stefan Mueller said combined. I recently got a Silhouette Cameo 4 cutter. I print and cut my labels, which always allows for some fancy shapes. Did you see that one yet? Yep. Sure oh. Did. I have no idea. I don't know what that Leo is. Leo but... says, good day, Thrash. It's been far too long. Life just, aww. Life is just life, Leo. Life is just a Thank fantasy. Thank you for being here. Thrash says, the dangerous sounds of silence. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They can hear my thoughts. When there's silence and you get this look like from your wife, that's not good. It doesn't happen often. I'm just saying. Aldo Nova boil over. Oh, is there? Are we gonna have a boil over? I hope not. No. It could happen. No. <laughs> it's not. We have at least a half a foot or a foot. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, it could boil over at that point, I'll tell you. I know, sure. but it's not. No, it shouldn't. How are you, Kelly? I didn't ask for I am good, Leo. I am good, Leo. Thank you. I wish you guys lived closer. <laughs> uh, Aldo Nova, silence equals boil over. Yeah, exactly. And I have to tell you too, Leo, he can brew. It's yum. Talking about Leo. Yes. That's why I said. Right. I was Fantastic just clarifying that you were Thank you. You weren't saying Leo that I could brew. <sighs> Brian? What, Kalexa? Oh. Mm. Kalexa, off. Mm. <laughs> Kalexa, mute. This is the thing. <laughs> He's like this whole... Kalexa, <sighs> off. And I'm just here, and I just mm, try to morph in. So anyway. Kalexa, volume, down. You're a stinker. <laughs> stinker. Mm. To get that doghouse ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you pizza, honey. Right, yeah. Probably put some visine in the sauce or something, so I'm in the crapper all day. Sipping. Kelly, what state are you guys in? The state of, oh my gosh. Yeah. I wish it, aww. How strong is the heating element in the boil kettle? 5,000 watt. That's crazy. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. That's a good question. 5,000 watt. Oh, sorry. He just answered. Okay. <laughs> anyway, moving There's on. There's an echo in here. Okay. <clears throat> Brian just said life <clears throat> is just a fantasy. Wasn't that a... Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, it was a song. And I used to dance to that when I was like 12. Yep. Okay. And get the dog out. Sorry. No more pizza for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Been cut off. <laughs> There's still a piece left. Been cut off. He's a good man. Okay, this is. I feel like the gravity is a little low. Don't. I know, but it, it's please. hot. It doesn't matter. It's there's ice water uh, in there. We're married. Whatever. It's too hot. And it's not that hot. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me de pants you. That's on right. Here. Okay. Haha, uh -huh. I had four days of and just brewed a German weeds. Oh, and wow, been far along in the brew house. He just brewed a German wheat, Leo yeah. did. If cool. we did live closer, then we'd be a lot more beer swapping. Yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely, Leo. Yep, I'm sure would. And dinners and just talking and playing cards. I don't know. Sky's the limit. That's I have right. a cousin that wore the Aldo Nova stuff out. Oh, very cool. I don't even know what that is. What it's is that? It's that song, oh. Living in a Fantasy, Are You okay. Living a Fantasy Life? Okay, I didn't know that. Brian is so young. Yeah, I'm just a whippersnapper. Yeah, I almost didn't marry him because he was younger than me. All right, I feel like I, my prediction is we're going to be low on gravity here. Let's see. Let's if we did here. live closer, there would be a lot more beer swapping going on, too. Amen, Leo. I had a question that wore the Aldo Nova stuff out. I avoid it. Okay. All right. Okay, so. We are low on gravity, as I suspected. Brian is my age, isn't he? Uh, kind of. <laughs> 1.03 seven. We were supposed to be much higher than that. Right, that thrash. What? I'm looking to see where we're supposed to be. Yep, so we're 0 0.012 off on gravity. Thrash said long, low gravity, longer boil. Yeah, I could do that. And then Leo was like, what gravity are <laughs> you shooting for? You were shooting for like... Uh, 1.0... Yeah. I thought it was like 1.4. Uh, 1.049. Oh, I knew there was a 4 in it. 1.049, Leo. Are you adding DME? Natal said. Um, net, no. 
I think I'm about to because I don't really want to boil that long. Middle fruit said, wasn't Aldo Norlidge from... The I don't know. I have to get my phone out and Google that. I love Google. Mike Oliver, add a little extract. Yep. Thrash said, yes, at middle fruit. And then, is it okay that I'm still reading this? Because I don't care. you give me crap. Okay, anyway, I'm doing it. And so, beer koi. Whoops. I just did that again. Okay, over here. Okay, they're, they're good. They're talking to each other. I just so happen to have a pound of uh, Pilsner DME. Pilsner DME. Ugh. Four Priest Brewery said, I like the gravity syringe lick test Brian did after the Easy Dens. What? With a smiley face. What's that? Um, okay. Here, try some of that. Try some of that malt um, extract. Ugh, I'm trying to read this. I know it is. Okay, so I like the gravity syringe lick test. <laughs> yeah. Brian did after the easy test. Absolutely. You gotta do that. <laughs> I have to move, so I'm gonna move this way. Yeah, I'm gonna move this way. Okay. So a pound of DME will probably get us maybe to 10, I was in junior high or something 84. like that, maybe. That's cute. Okay. To write thrash, had some probe on the hells and the other day and just added time to the boil, which makes sense, and recalibrated my refractometer. Why did he recalibrate a refractometer? Because uh, the reading could be off on it. Oh. How do you, can we recalibrate it? Well, that thing doesn't get recalibrated, but a I refractometer know. can. Can we do that? Is the choice? Yeah. yeah, there's a screw. There's a screw in there to oh, calibrate it with. That's cool. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Apparently, I just learned we can recalibrate our own refractometer. I thought yep. that was like a company thing. Okay. Anyway. And since we're since we're brewing a a uh, that will work as well, Brian said. Thrash. Yeah. Since we're brewing a a uh, um, logger. It won't I'm hurt to dry it out a little bit. In the early 80s on radio. Um, so I'll put two hours from MTL. 10 ounces of corn sugar in there too. Okay. We're all in it. There we go. Minute. So that ought to get us pretty close. Mm -hmm. It'll Larry, dry out a this too. bourbon stuff, oh my shit. It's good. <laughs> Yum. What? Yes, it's delicious. It just makes me want to like go outside and climb a Take tree. Take me drunk, I'm home. <laughs> no, what? No, what? I like being happily tipsy. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. It's I can do the moonwalk. Oop. Come on, stop it. Justin Thomas said I missed the 80s. Oh, Thrash said, drier the lager, I agree, the master at work. And Beer Koi said, I miss the health I had in the 80s. <laughs> well, you know what? We're here today, so let's just keep on doing it. Eat broccoli. It's good. Banana, All right. Avocado. We'll do our, we'll do our 30 minute boil and then we'll Fish. see how close we, Water. we are. So we put, I put a pound of Beer. DME, DME in and then uh, 10 ounces of corn sugar. So, okay. I thought it was pretty close. Corn sugar? Yeah. I don't remember that one. Yeah. So, I mean, I had some packets left over from bottling. You, mm. It comes with kits a lot of times to bottle in. So. Okay. Let's read. <clears throat> so, but hey, you know, even I get, even I get low gravity sometimes just either Oh, they're deal with it or, they're or deal with it a different way. They're talking <laughs> to each other. Brian, are you running 5500W Elements Thrash? 5500 watt elements? No, yes. 5000. 5000. Huh. It's the Blickman boil coil. I'm doing the robot. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yep. 
Yes. Okay. So now what? Nothing. We're going to bring it to a boil. I know. I'm just kidding. It smells great. Keep on keeping on. Oof. Yum. Amber in the house. Yep. Yes, yes. Fresh that okay. All right. I still bad that Larry's on a date with his wife. <laughs> Damn it, there he is. Again. Larry's his own man, okay? And the Blickman can... boil coil goes up in wattage that the largest head is. To get above 500 watts, I think you have to be above 20 gallons. Yeah, you do. Yep. Yes. That's correct. Very good, Bear Koi. Smart brewing. Um, Wayne Rose said, what is the largest batch you ran with um, the five you can, you can do a... Um, you we can do share a with our family. You can do a 15 gallon batch the, with the, like the Christmas that size boil coil. It would take a while. It would take time. a while for it to get to a boil, but it's fun. And you can, and you do you still bottle or you just can? Just can if I yeah. do anything like that. Mm. To make sure we don't have any catastrophes. Put some, put a few drops of uh, firm cap in there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, how long to a boil with that coil? Um, it's usually about 15 minutes or so, something like that, maybe 20. It all depends on the batch size. I mean, you know, if, if you're doing a five gallon batch, obviously, it, comes to boil a lot faster but um i mean we're I, i've had it at set at 200 when i was collecting the wart and we're at 198 right now that i'm done collecting wart so it shouldn't be it won't be too much longer it'll come to a boil so won't take too long and then we'll do our 30 minute boil <laughs> what uh, leo said i'm spoiling the chance of a boil over Good to see you learning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a smart man. That is so smart. But I know what boilovers are. <laughs> you are, yes. <laughs> Leo, you're a stinker butt. It's hilarious. All right, let's see. We're going ounces. Okay, Thrash said I run 5,500 watt, and after the mash out 168, the boil comes up pretty fast. I pulled 26 amps on the line. Wow, you guys are like getting into the nitty freaking mm -hmm. gritty. Yep. I'm just drinking, sipping, you know, Larry's beer. That you it's made. my beer, Larry's recipe. I know. It's not Larry's beer. Alexa. Yes, it is. I pull out two pounds an hour of propane while brewing. That is expensive. Yeah, it is. Leo said, I may not be the brightest, but I can drive a tractor. <laughs> Drives a tractor. Me too, Leo, and you are freaking bright. So, yeah, then there's that. Okay, so Beer Koi said, I have done a 20 on the GT30. Man, you guys. Okay, we're not just, like, talking about whatever. Okay, Beer Koi said, I have done 20 on the G230 gallon kettle. It has the 5750W coil. It still takes quite a while to move. So the, the pneumatic pressure? No, just it takes a while to boil, is what oh. I'm saying. I bought some elements from Bobby at Brew Hardware. 5,000 watt for five gallons. I learned from Brian. Wow. Okay, so what do you say to that? What do I say? I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, 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 I say, boy. I say. That's awesome. I say, go. I say, go away, boy. You bother me. I know. Could I just... No, it's cute. It's awesome. I'm just joking. I know. <laughs> He'll be back. Right. I'm trying to... My freaking... Everything gets in there. What is it? Oh. I, I stand over there and it's like my whole butt. Oh, wow. Anyway. Okay. Is Brian stressing right now? Just joking. Am I stressing? 
I don't know. I was wondering the no. same thing. No, not at all. Okay, no thrash. He's not a Apparently. No, no, I'm just walking around doing stuff. He's I'm walking trying to, around I'm, doing stuff. I'm, I'm putting together some Frankenstein He's thing He's like to, being a MacGyver of the brew house. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting some Frankenstein thing together to okay, drain anyway. the yes. mash tun. Thrash, yes. Anyway, um, yes, thrash. Aw, Christian and Bobby from New Jersey, my hero. Yep, he's a good dude. Bob Lonesbury. When is the upgrade to spike bottom drain kettles? Holy shit. I don't think I'll be doing that. I don't think so either. I don't feel the need to. Wow. I mean, that's it's, a, it's... That's a good question. Why it's a, not? It's Why a, not? Huh? That's a good question. I just don't feel the need to. Okay. He doesn't feel the need to, Bob. <laughs> Foghorn. Thrash, he really gets quiet. He gets really quiet. <laughs> oh my god, these people know you like I do. Oh my gosh, I just... Okay, I'm gonna move over here. Oops, okay. Anyway, um... Leo said, how's the new Blickman fermenter going? Good, And good how enough. well does the cooking trombone thing <laughs> go Where it works well, you know. Uh, <laughs> I put it we back, make beautiful put it back in the music. Fer, put it back in the fermenter right now, so I won't be doing any more duets. So but. funny. Hmm. Okay. Beer Koi said, Bob, I took the Spike Plus, Plus fermenters and put bottom ports in them. Oh, so he did a MacGyver. Yeah, he he put some elements in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yep. Yep, yep. The, uh, the guys over at Unibrow have a system kind of like that. It's a... Uh, Thrash said, brew days are really quiet or really loud in caps. <laughs> yeah, right. Lots of times to sit and then there is still a fire drill. Ugh. Yeah, because we keep it happening. That's so funny. Whoops. What happened? Oh, I was draining the... Do you want another um, Gatorade? I was draining the wrong thing. <laughs> I just have one. But that's okay. Huh? Oh, okay. Blah. That needed drained anyways. I need to drain the so mash funny. Time. That's what I need to drain. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go. There we go. Okay, they're just all talking amongst themselves. <laughs> when you start boiling is when you really start drinking, exactly. Mm. I'm just gonna stand over here, but when I go over there, it's like my hip is like, anyway, okay. Draining down the mash tun. I'm sure we're hands full, just babysitting. We're getting close. Oh. oh crap head. Getting close to that bowl. Close to the bowl. Close to the bowl. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so I've turned on the fan now. Where do you have your number? Huh? Right there. All right, let's see if the firm cap really does its thing here. Why don't you put the camera there? There is a camera there. It's right there on the screen. Oh, I see it. Whoop. It's I rising up God. like the marshmallow man. I swear to God. Huh? I can't stand anywhere without my hips in the video. Dude. <laughs> it smells great. 
Yes, it do. Crash said, I love boil overs every once in a while. Yeah, right. Yeah. It lets you know you're alive, right, Brian? the hops in there. Is there really anything cold. I can, I can't do anything. You put the hops in. You put the hops in if you want. No, I'm not Vanna White. Okay, well. You make me do it all by myself then. Huh? You're fine. There we go. Absolutely, Leo. I'm gonna let that sucker boil. I'm gonna boil on high. Right, Mike. Mike said, Mike Oliver said, Olivia, anyone who tells you you had a perfect brew day is not telling you the truth. <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, I have had some pretty good ones, but you know, hey, it's, every once in a while. I'm trying to like move out of here. You have one that's less than perfect. Then that's okay. That is perfectly okay. Nothing wrong with that. You guys uh, are awesome. What are you bringing? Oh, I'm uh, just like a amber lager. Amber lager. Which that reminds me, I need to get my should get my yeast out of the fridge. Get me yeast. Ha! <clears throat> oh, it's great. <laughs> and we'll be using two packs of uh, amber or uh, diamond lager. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you need scissors? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are 20 gallon kettles, Brian. They're not, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're 20 gallon kettles. So I do have quite a bit of headspace. We share. Even a brewing, even a boiling 12 point something gallons. That's what's so fun. Mm. Your neighbors love you. Well, they smell the Newport hops. They smell I can smell it over nothing. here, Brian. My nose is really. Well, they smell like kind of almost like piney almost a little bit. Mm, like Columbus? No. Well, Columbus has some pininess to it. Columbus is very piney. Yep. That's the piniest. Yep. Mm. Never had a perfect one, never had a bad one. <laughs> I don't smell that. I don't smell like, the pine. Like I, always, like I always say, you're going to make beer no matter what, even if it's a little bit lower lower uh, ABV than what you planned on. Amber lager is sweet. I don't smell Columbus pine. I don't smell pine, honey. All righty. Looking mighty fine. Here, I don't smell. No, don't pine. open them yet. Oh, I thought you needed them no, right now. Not yet. Why did no. you give them to me? I, did, I was just you asked for you hand you asked for them. I hand them to you. No, you don't, don't open those until they're ready to go in the fermenter. Great, I pre-opened the yeast. It's all right. Why well, thought you were telling me to open it? No, I was uh -uh. confused. No, you were just you had your hand out, so I gave them to you. <laughs> what else would you give me if I had my hand out? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Holy crap. All right, Beer Coy, have a good one, man. How did the Mexican lager go? Uh, I have not used any of the Chinese yeast. I have not. Crash said, to be truthful, it's hard to screw up beer. Ziploc. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they'll be fine. Beer Coy said, gotta run. Have some kids. Or he meant fun, I think. Wife is dragging me to... The cabin chairs. Have fun, Beer Koi. Twin monkeys. One question. Do you use those Chinese yeast? No. Angel, I already answered I that question. Okay. I just want to make sure. My cousin has the same kettle brand, similar set of tiers. And then Dave Harris put... By, oh, it just in. Okay. And then Leah said, I had a brew day once, second degree burns on my arm Ugh. and the wort on the floor. That's not good. That's a bad brew day. It for can sure. happen. No, yeah, we've that's, had that's not good weird at all. mishaps. Not good at all. Oh, I hope he didn't do that when he sent us beer. I feel so bad. I guess I should have started my timer when it started boiling. Yeah. Thrash, busy work, 
Your beer is going to be great, Brian and Kelly. Thank you, Thrush. <laughs> if it isn't, we'll drink it anyway, because, you know. Smells good. <laughs> you can put in food, make a sauce. I don't know. Smells good for sure. Uh, the side of the radio. Do you know if Anvil sells the new Foundry malt pipe? Um, I don't know that they sell it. You might reach out to uh, to them and find out. Maybe they have a like a return or something like that on one of the new ones, and they could sell you the malt pipe out of it, or maybe swap out. That'd be what I would suggest. Okay, Leo. Yeah, I think I, I think I see part of the the issue with um, with the low gravity, and this it happens sometimes with the auto sparge. It creates. Crash said he can smell our light. It grow. creates some turbulence. That's really and the bomb basically there's a great big ditch in this. I'll I'll, I'll expand the uh, the camera out and see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. Crash yeah. said he can smell our live grill. <laughs> cool. I think part of the reason why this is part this is part of the reason why we got a a uh, low gravity, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Maybe you can see it. So if you can see here, down here, like right here where this is at, I'll show you that the the grain bed is all the way down there, and like the the top of the grain, rest of the grain is right there. So there's that much of a ditch on the side over here where that ball oh. was. I've been thinking about trying to get a, a manifold to attach to the outlet hose because I think a lot of times there's a turbulence and it creates a ditch in the mat in the uh, grain bed, and so everything wants to flow over here to the side. It doesn't happen very often with larger grain bills, but when you start, you know. In, the, in a 20 gallon mash tun, when you have 20, just over 20 pounds of grain, it can do that. So. amongst each other yeah right good deal right community event huh community event that's right brian that's as long as you have the sparge water running slow and at least an inch over the top you shouldn't have that channeling problem no it, it's it's during the recirculation that's that's when it caused it. it's like because the the way that the hose comes off of the auto sparge and goes down at an angle. The float is holding it, but it's actually pointing the the flow angle I'm, of your dangle. I'm away from the cameras, but so what, when it's down in the kettle like that, and it's pointing the hose down, then it's basically it's like it's washing the grain out of the bottom of the mash tun and like piling it up on the rest of it. So there's like this much of a ditch on the side over there, and then of course that's all the liquid wants to run that way. Cool. The sparge, doesn't have, I don't, the sparge doesn't have a whole lot to do with, with that problem. It, it's the recirculation. And then once that gets set over there on the side, then everything wants to go to the path of least resistance, which is that really shallow grain bed over there. So I've been thinking about trying to get some kind well, of different like manifold. The angle so, of the dangle. The angle of the dangle, exactly. <laughs> yep. The angle I of live the with a boy, people. That's Are you right. kidding me right now? <laughs> She's been around me too long. Too long. <laughs> That's for sure. Parash says, I stir the mash at 30 minutes if I'm doing 60 minute mash. Yeah. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. Wow, he's challenging you. Go, Thrash. It's all good and fun. Stuart King is asking what you're brewing. 
and amber. <laughs> What's that? Amber. What's that? Stuart King is asking what you're brewing. He's just late oh, to the party. No, no, I was reading what Brian said. He I asked if I was you. peeing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brewing an amber lager. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. yeah. No, I was. I was actually. I was draining. I was draining the uh, the fermenter there, Brian, <laughs> over into the, over into the sink. I wouldn't put it past <laughs> Brian though. I. Uh, He'll walk I, outside. I, I can see how you might get that impression from the noise it was making, though. If I, I mean, was a boy, I would do it. <laughs> Duh. When in doubt, whip it Crash out. Right? Mm. Yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah, I could definitely see how you might get that impression from the way it like sounded. I said, sounds like, like pre-screen from Austin Bauer. <laughs> um, Stefan Mueller said, pretty solid brain. Did you back off power or is the element at full power? I normally back the element off, but since I'm doing a 30 minute boil and we were low on gravity, That's I'm just letting question. it, I'm letting it haul butt today. So I'm like, I'm just going to do that. So. Leo P screen. That's why I'm doing that. Normally I back it off to about 80, 75, 80%. Wayne Rose said, guys, have a great brew day. They have funnels Let's for brew days. Yeah, cigar right. in time. I'll Thanks, check Wayne. back later. Oh, thank you. All right, you. man. Have Thanks a good for one. being here, man. Enjoy your cigar. Ah! Brian's breaking stuff. It's okay. Yeah, right? We'll be fine. I peed too much and fell over. Thrash said they have funnels for a brewing day. <laughs> Damn, well, I'm correct. Yep, <laughs> yep. 60%. You're talking about like a, a five gallon batch or a 10 gallon Seven batch? Seven cent things. In the upper left. Yeah, uh, Thrash YouTube logo and Justin. 70. Uh, that is uh, how many people are viewing? Right now, it's like a it's like a counter that shows how many people are viewing. It's an easy way for me to look, glance up, and see. Ten gallon, okay. Yep. Yeah, this is on 100% here. The the 5,000 watt element. The thing about the boil coil that's kind of cool is it it boils from the side, like into the middle. The ripple elements they always boil in the center, but either or, either or, either or. Time for another beer. Oh. Thrash said 10, ga 10 gallon. Okay, yep. It is a great boil. Yeah, it is. It smells wonderful. And it's very healthy. Christian N said, have you considered using a steam hat to yeah, save I'm some power during the boil? Really? What's that? What is that? Uh, I have. I actually do have the the spike um, kettle lid and the steam condenser and all that stuff. But I don't know. I just like an open kettle. I I'm not too worried about. I mean, it's not too. It doesn't consume too much power. I mean, I I don't know. What if I guess I'm old fashioned with regards atmosphere. to that. What's that? Oh wow. What if you had a different atmosphere? I didn't even what if know. Had a different what? A different atmosphere for condensing. For a um, I don't know that that makes a whole lot of difference because it, it's, it's like in condensing it. Like, what if you're in an apartment or something? Yeah, that's a good idea for an apartment for sure. Yeah, I, mean, I think I think it's it's awesome for apartments. Larry's beer is very good. DM DMS, yeah, yeah. Make sure the DME gets. <laughs> no, you want the dry malt extract in, not out. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Brian, I mm. have the more beer I am chiller. Is it worth trading up to a jade? Oh, a jaded chiller. Oh, for sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Jaded is pretty yeah, jaded chillers are, are awesome. If you far superior to pretty much anything out there. To yeah. They can, yeah, they're awesome. They are superior to most other chillers. Yeah, I didn't want to overstep, Brian. <sighs> anyway. Why am I so crowded over here? Two Idiots Brewing Company. That's awesome. Brian and Kelly, any plans on going to pick Ohio Beer Festival? Uh, we can't say, but wow. That's so awesome. What is it? Are we going to go to the Pix Ohio Beer next week? Oh, I don't know. No. I don't think so. Wouldn't Are plan you? It 
Two Idiots Brewing Company. I'm sure you kind of know what you're doing. That's a, a laughable like title. Okay, Justin Thomas may look into that. Okay, cool. Twin Monkeys. Here at home, the small one. Oh. <laughs> Twin Monkeys says they're there at home and it becomes food for their um, chickens and sheep. What's that? Twin Monkeys. Food for what? Here at home, this malt left over in the pot becomes food for chickens and sheep. Oh, yeah. Definitely good for that. Definitely good for that. Whew. I'm good. I had a Gatorade. Here we go. Berries. I mean, Larry's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Now, this is not the right chiller for this this system, but no, I use it anyway. but it's amazing. It works well. It works well. I just wouldn't want to use their rings to open beers because it hurts. Huh? Don't use their ring to open a beer. Yeah, it right. It hurts. I'll set that there. Um, it's falling over. I got it. Inertia, gravity. Yep. All of it. Exactly. Okay, where we're at. So, for Priest Brewery, we built a condenser for our brewery. Oh, so you really have like a brewery? 100 gallon kettle as the city. We're not happy with the extension. Cool. In Tom neighborhood. They really work well and no DMS problems. World Flock so Tower. What's a DMS problem? Huh? A DMS problem? I'm not sure. What is a DMS problem for a priest? I have things going on in my brain, but I don't know. Okay, this side of the radio. I do 30, 60, boundary. Okay. The side of the radio um, does a 30 to 60 minute boil on the foundry. What's that? He can't hear what do you say? half the time. Okay, this side of the radio says, I do a six, a 30 to 60 minute boil on the foundry at 220 volts. Seems not too bad. Seems not too bad. I don't... Uh, too, too, too. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not bad. Yeah, steam's not bad. That's not really, yeah. For a priest, so are they in Leo's like wheelhouse? No, no, they probably have a YouTube channel. I haven't, I haven't seen them actually. I'll have to check them out. Well, Leo would know. Yeah, I would take his opinion as uh, a good one. Yeah. Okay, Leo. Heat that coil. <laughs> I love the Bengals bucket. You know, funny, I get comments about the Bengals bucket all the time. The only reason why I bought it, I'm not, I'm not a like a Bengals fan. I'm not even an NFL fan for that matter. But the reason why I bought it was because it was on sale at, at Home Depot for like, it was like two dollars. I'm think like, sweet, that's so a bucket. You know, $2. if you're born into the Browns or the Bengals, yeah. Bengals, it's like forever yeah. in a day. You can't change. It's so. funny, you can't shake it. I'm a. Mm. Brian did that because of me. That's hilarious. He got some bucket for two bucks. I'm sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> then the sheep and chickens go to the pot. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. A race until getting it into the fermenter. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put it in right through the bottom port down here. It'll be a little messy after I take it apart, but put it right in through the bottom and drop the yeast Do in from the top. Do you need another Gatorade, or are you good? I'm good. Okay. I'll be ready to fall down after I get done. I know. We're so tired when we're done, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. We love this. It's community. It is. It's like a community no, it's a lot of event. Fun. Yes. I enjoy it a lot. <clears throat> For sure. And pizza. For sure. 
Brian needs it, another home brew. Yeah, I'm, I'm having one. No. And then two minutes. What? He'll be too tired. Oh. I know I'm my husband. One. Yeah. Live brew days usually cleanup happens the next morning. <laughs> I'm so tired. Absolutely. So tired after mm -hmm. I get done. It's crazy. I don't know what it is about brewing live, but Brian, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's, or maybe you don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm scared maybe, to death. Maybe you're all fine. the time. I'm scared to death, but I love all these people, so I do it. Yeah, this is where Kelly steps in, right? Oh, okay. Do you want me to dance, like, you know, the Cabbage Patch or something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thrash, should I do the robot? Exactly. Ugh. Are you okay? Not really, but I'll be. I'll make it. At least my back is not out. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm right here. Okay. I'm right here. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> cool. 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 Yep, Kevin Hill, absolutely. Leo, that's so funny. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, four priest, four priest brewery. People, some people don't like the smell of uh, no boiling beer. I, I like it quite frankly, but I love it. A lot of people don't. I know. I know. I get comments from people all the time about their wife or family or whatever doesn't like it, but. Their yep. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Exactly, Alonzo. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> I am blessed. For sure. All right, 10 minute, edi ten minute edition time. Blah, blah, blah. Kent Golding. One ounce going in. Okay. Yep. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, I love I love the smell of hops too. It's 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 amazing. Especially when you like if you're doing a whirlpool or whatever, all the all the aroma. The only thing I think about sometimes with that is like, oh, all the, all the uh, aromas going out the kettle. <laughs> but that's kind of one of the reasons why I like pressure fermentation for New England IPAs and stuff is because the, I feel like it keeps the aroma in the, in the beer longer. But, whew, I'm glad I elected for a 30 minute boil today. I literally, Chief said it earlier, but I uh, had to clean up a big mess down here. I had, I was mashing a whole bunch of grain in the Anvil Foundry 18 and I ground it a little too fine and put a little too much grain in and it was just, it was stuck the worst that I've ever seen it stuck. I literally, I pulled it up out of there with all the liquid in the basket. There was like this much liquid in the bottom. Pulled it up out of there and it, it was not even dripping. I mean, it would not even drip. <laughs> that stuff i wound up having to scoop all the mash out and put it into i have the i keep the the six and a half gallon foundry around just for heating up sparge water and stuff for doing when i do small batches or whatever in some of those single vessel uh single vessel systems so i wound up using the mash basket on it and dumping the, the mash into that in order to uh to get everything to drain out. i literally had to drain it all the way out it was oh i mean i I had I had probably like four handfuls of rifle, rice holes in there. It's crazy, unbelievable. Yep, I, I I had a whole bunch of rice holes in there. It just it, I think the 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 grind was too fine, and it just it just did not like it. I mean, I after I cleaned everything up, took the false bottom out. There were just hunks of stuff stuck because the the Anvil Foundry has the same false bottom as the the Blickman mash tons. That kind of a coin shape louver in the bottom. 
and uh, it was it was stuck. It was it was completely plugged up. Yep. <laughs> there you go. It's over here. Six and a half minutes out. Yeah, no doubt. Awesome. Okay. I had to feed our cats and get some water. Hmm? I had to feed our cats and get some water. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So. Never heard of a plug brew in a bag. Yeah, that's true. That's true for sure. Bob said, okay, five seconds. You can only brew on one system for the rest of your life. What do you pick? Um, um I'm I probably at you it. know, just because of the because of the ease and everything of it, probably I would say either the, the Anvil Foundry 18 or the uh, the Brazil 65 liter. Those mm. those two vessels are those two vessels are really good. The Brazil and is I, amazing. You know, pick the larger one because of the fact that you can do five or ten gallon batches. So it just I would say on if, how much if that beer was the system, the only system that I could have just because of size. Don't and, you think? Yeah, how much beer you want? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Robo you could, you can do, is like boom. Yeah, well, the, the Brazilla sixty five liter. Brazilla you can do, is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's the. That's Robo what brew. I would do if mm -hmm. I lived in an apartment yep. or. Yeah. Probably one of those two. Either or. Bruce holes, Leo said. Yeah, I'm. I'm just thinking, you know, just ease of use and all that Stephen, stuff. Stefan, take care, man. Sleepy, sleepy. Take care. Yeah, I mean, the, the brew tools is really complicated to me. I mean, I, you know, it, it's a nice system and all that stuff, but it's just, there's so much complication to it. Yeah. It's okay, but it's pretty complicated. Larry's beer. I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> that we did, Larry's beer. Oh, yeah. I'm sippy, sippy. It's so good. Sorry. SJ's beer too. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? We're doing five. <laughs> I'll just go over there and read. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> After a few beers, the B80 becomes much easier to brew in. I imagine. No, don't get me wrong. They have a nice system, but I'm, I'm just. I was just thinking of ease of use and all that stuff just less complications and everything less less stuff to clean less stuff to yeah. mess with those two systems would probably yep. be what i would if i had to if i had to settle for a system only one that'd probably be it i love this system but that would like, be my system yeah No. You're sleepy. No, I'm not sleepy. I'm just tired. That's what I meant. Yeah. Worn out. Less stuff to clean. Absolutely. You got a pretty good commercial on Keglin this week. Be mm -hmm. proud. Hmm. Yeah, the, the Alan Hoy. Key, Thank you. Yeah, Key uh, gave me a pretty good little shout out on his really? uh, latest refractometer video. That's awesome. I know no one asked me, but I love the Robo Brew and the Fermentosaurus. Mm -hmm. Yep. If I had an apartment, that's what I would do. Yeah. But this is my favorite overall. It's the most work. It sucks, but man, the product yeah, it's is just, yummy. It's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. It makes good beer for sure. Yeah. For sure. Keglin, refractometer, um, it's not, link. It's not out yet in the U.S. 
Um, I'll Kegel probably get one to do a review on. Keglam refractometer? It's not out in the U.S. Oh. yet. They okay, just they just yet. announced it on their website. I love my heart. Yeah, trash. I It'll get be you. over in... Uh, trash, I'm sorry. <laughs> trash. No. Did you say trash? <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. <laughs> my eyes are blurry. Oh. I know him. Okay. Too much sippy sippy? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> sippy sippy. I need more sippy sippy. Yay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stinker butt. Ooh. Justin Thomas. Okay. Look forward to it. I like a lot of Keglin's gear. Well, yeah. Yeah, I have, I have two of the My kegerators are uh, Keglin. I got several Bruzillas and probably will wind up. Did you say Bruzillism? Yeah, Bruzillas. Oh, I thought you said Bruzillism. Bruzillism. Well, it sounds like a medical zippy, term. Zippy, zippy. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sippy, sippy. Sippy, sippy. Anyway, oops, see, my butt is in there again. Oh, no. No, I don't like that. Cool shirt, one of Jesse's. Joe, one of Jesse's. No, it's, a, it's into the AM. Jesse does advertisements for him, but the company is into the I know, I know, I know exactly what he's talking about. Okay, well, I just want to answer that yeah. question. Jesse from Stillet <laughs> does, does uh, promos for... Uh, into the AM all the time. I did a promo for him and I got a couple shirts from him when I did it. So, Leo said they have done a good mm. job at Keglin. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they're always, they're always stuff making stuff out to yep. people. Absolutely. Yep. Even during the COVID. I mean, it's been crazy. Justin said, I yep. have the, the Comos Kegler. Yeah. That's, it's, a, it's pretty much like what I have, but it's, it's more beers brand. What does that mean? Oh. It's okay. just a brand name. And all. And the all rounder. Yep, the Firmzilla all rounder. That's wow. like the. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever, it's fine. Mm. Gam Dud, are you kidding me? He said, "Have another one, Kelly." <laughs> no, I'm sippy sippy. Sippy oh sippy. Oh my god, it's so delicious, and it's. She Saturday, needs a sippy cup. So I'm just being myself. With a little. Myself in the on house. The end okay. Anyway. Kelly needs a sippy cup. <laughs> Gam dud, holy crap. Okay, Leo. All my taps and hoses are keggling. The beer oh. in the whirlpool goes round and round <laughs> all through the kettle. <laughs> Leo, all his like kegs or his taps and hoses are keggling. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I'm tipsy, I guess. Anyway, okay. Sippy, sippy. sippy. Get a whirlpool <laughs> going on here. <laughs> okay, so Justin Thomas said, Sippy, sippy sounds like a name for a future brew cream ale. <laughs> yes, you're in my, you're in yeah. my world. Well, you could remember George Carlin did the hippy dippy weatherman. You oh. could do a, you could do a hippy sippy saison. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, I just want to embarrass funny. my husband. No, I'm not embarrassed. You know that. <laughs> it's hard to embarrass me. <laughs> well, I have a lot of pride too, so <sighs> then there's that. Yeah, exactly. I work out, I eat right. It's Saturday. And he said we're doing this at 2. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? But I love you guys. Doing God's work here. I have got to get a different hose, I think. Brian is there. hose. My hose. <laughs> That's dropping pretty quick. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, good. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That, that boil over was epic, for sure. It was crazy. Well, it was either either that boil over or Leo. Do you remember the when I uh, Cheers, dumped Christopher when I dumped the uh, gallon or so of Lodica. wood on the bottom shelf of my awesome old brew table? <laughs> that's right. Is, that's is right. Tra trash. <laughs> Thanks, that's right, trash. buddy. That's yes, right. Yes, absolutely. I own that hose. That's right. It's mine. Them hose.
I mean, I'm ready to turn like YouTube on and start dancing and doing the robot and everything and karaoke. Just picked up 10 pounds of peach puree. Oh, nice. Did do a little, do a little uh, B R A N D Y. That's nice. Brandy. Yeah. Mm. Is that an intro into the AM shirt, Brian? What's that? Yeah, it's Is into that... the AM. Yep, it's the end of the AM shirt. Yep. Yep. We yep, went yep. to a Shinedown concert, and he wore that. It was perfect. Yeah, it was their latest album has a very much, uh, very similar type logo to it it was astronaut.com wow i am a little tipsy here okay I what think i'll just go get some Gatorade. sippy sippy what uh, sippy sippy i don't know man i woke up on a punch like it was two o'clock and i was like crap i'm late sippy sippy <sighs> all right let's uh and let's grab let's grab a sample and chill it down and see picture, it won't see where we wound up at. There we go. Oh, I was <laughs> I have blurry <laughs> eye. Anyway. Evil eye. More ice. This side of the radio said doing a test batch. What's that? This side of the radio said doing a test batch. There you go. Cool. It's always good. Do a test batch. All right. Let's see here. Put this in there. Oh, I'm ready to wake up tomorrow for an omelet and just do the laundry. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Sounds good. How are the figures? Um, I don't know yet. Don't beat me. I'm gonna find out here in just a second. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, it looks like we're pretty close. One point zero five zero. Said, thanks, Kelly. Just remind me I left the laundry in the machine. <laughs> Leo, you are a gem. So my my predicted original gravity was 1052. So we're only 0 0.002 off. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Here, would you like a taste? Here. Oh, I was just dancing. Okay, yep. You can you can do it. Yummy. Oh, that is really good. Mm, that's good. Yep. It's gonna be mighty nice. It's gonna be real nice. Real nice class. Y'all watch NASCAR? <laughs> Them cars go round and round and stuff. Owl Ten fifty. Okay, hmm? where are we? On the bottom shelf. Real nice cars. You inspired me yesterday. I just picked up. Yep. Is that? Yep. Yep. Doing yep, yep. Thanks, Kelly. And I'm back. Forgot I had YT on the phone. Can uh -oh. you so can <laughs> YT. YT for life. What does that mean? You, YouTube. Oh. Okay. And then Justin Thomas said 1050. 1050. The side of the radio said picked up a wine yeast and a beer yeast. Not sure what. Oh. Hmm. Brian. Yo. And Leo said, I'm going downstairs now to fix the problem. <laughs> <laughs> JR, I'd say probably pizza is my favorite brew day meal. <laughs> Everybody knows that. What, yeah, oh, what flavor of beer are you making, Brent? Christopher, we're making an amber. Amber lager. Amber lager. Yep. 
Because of the heat, why isn't it ale? Huh? Right? Amber ale. The, amber lager. Yeah, the heat. Okay, anyway. No, because of the yeast. Amber yeah. lager and the yeast. Okay. Yep, I'm using diamond so, lager yeast. We're, oh. And then there's the bobs. Don't split hairs in the OG. What? Oh my god, damn it! <laughs> Shit, sorry. Okay. I'm going to hers to fix the problem. Go, the Rob, go. The caboose is loose. Wait, stop it. Christopher, I missed the first part. Okay. Christopher, what do you want to know? Cheers, Justin. Yep, amber lager. Okay, we're all good. Wine yeast don't have much flavors. It will ferment to the extent. Oh, thrash. What's that? Wine yeast don't have much yeah. flavor. I think we I don't, talked I don't about think that I don't think he's making, I don't think he's making wine or beer, so. But we're not all doing your All that. your flavor is going to come out in the. Right. In the uh, process. The rest of the process. <clears throat> you okay. All righty. Ninety-one. Getting down there. Probably will put this in the fermenter and then put it on the glycol chiller to bring it down to like 65 degrees or so then pitch the yeast on it cool i don't know we'll see how we'll see how long it takes to get down here it's dropping pretty quick though so i think we'll be all right yeah christian said um what temp and pressure are you going to ferment it um i'll probably do like 65 degrees for fermentation temperature and pressure will be like 12 psi hmm. Need to take that They're out. talking amongst themselves. Right. Mike Oliver happens to be too with my um, auto sparge. Hmm. What is it? His. It said he has. It happens to him too with his auto sparge. Oh, okay, with the 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 <laughs> grain getting dished out. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes. Yeah, I've been thinking I about. I've been thinking about some kind of manifold heat for it. Transfer takes a hit. It's a balancing act. Amen. Is there anything I can do? I feel so helpless. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching it, watching it uh, go round and round in the kettle. Okay. Do you guys watch Downton Abbey? What's your favorite <laughs> episode? <Down> Abbey. <laughs> yeah, they seem like the kind of guys that watch Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey is the oh, bomb. Oh yeah. Hmm. I like watch it over and over again. It's like a really good book. I can quote it like the Bible. Uh, is it, yeah, sometimes I go to 15 PSI, uh, Justin. <clears throat> sometimes I go to 15. Wonderful. <laughs> well, well, I just want to talk about sippy, Johnny sippy. Johnny. Like our neighbor, snappy, snappy. So Justin Thomas said, ale yeast too or just lager yeast? Well, both, both. Both. Yeah, yep. we both. Mike Oliver said, at least you are not doing back to back brew day. Yeah, right. Well, sometimes we do, so yeah. Yeah, I, I will, I've never done Amen, a back to back Mike. brew day. Ugh. Brian, huh? anyway, nothing. Okay, so thrash, Brian is like me. Sit for a moment and then back up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. That's me. We're almost down to... 
Justin Thomas said, thanks. Figured that would be good into yep. for others and yep. myself. Yep, works well. For sure. Imagine when Fresh. we get it in the most important probably. piece, get it cooled as fast as you can and get it into the fermenter. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And I suggest a jaded coil cooler. Yipper. Judges are jaded. Yep, J -j -j they're awesome. Jaded. Brian, thanks for the 220 volt power setup for my anvil. Yeah. And many thanks and caps for the video. Cheers. Yep, JRF. absolutely. You're welcome, JR. Thank you. Damn it, my butt. Anyway. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm trying to like work this thing. All right, I think we're good. I think we'll shut this off and get ready to transfer. I could wait for all the trouble to settle out, but I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a chair. Time for some relaxation. Whoop, whoop. Kelly, we see Brian's butt as well. No problems. Thank What's you, that? Thrash. <laughs> What's I'm that? I'm like, I just said it out loud. This camera thing is on all the time. <laughs> um, uh, I saw my butt in the freaking video. Right. He said we see Brian's butt too. I'm glad because we have butt for days. We have glutes maximus. <laughs> <laughs> We're the glutes maximus couple. Whoop whoop. Oh, Leo. Okay, folks, need to crash early in the morning here. Leo, thank you for being here, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. We're giving you hugs from afar. Yep. We just love you guys. You sleep well, man. Thanks for being here. Yep, yep. Alrighty. The yeast is in. You're a brother from another mother, Leo. Here we go. Leo does really great beer, by the way. Yes, he does. Crazy ass shit. Sorry. Yeah, very good. I said that word. So many people in here could be a brewer. Huh? So many people in here could be a brewer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's yep. like... For sure. Mind blowing. John Cavalier said, Hey, Brian, nice job. Thank you. Hey, John. Thumbs up, man. Thank you for being here. Uh, I, I think, what were we in the 20s, something like that, I think? Yeah, what's the outside? Yeah, yeah it's like cold. 20s. And then this side of the radio, which fermenter are you using? The, the G4. Yeah, G4. Yep. Blickman, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, can you turn off the water over there? We, we need, need like anymore. purple for the jacket. I'm good. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You and O.A. Twain Rose. Alrighty. Here we go. We are done. We're around there, man. Closer to Pennsylvania. Yeah. With that. Are you in OH? You talking to me? 
Hi guys, have you tried brewing with rain water? It's all filtered. Hansville filtered. But Philip, no, that's very interesting though. Because I have not. why wouldn't you capture it and use it? We have not. But that's a great question. What's that? If you have used rainwater. Oh yeah. All right, well, looks like it was a, another successful brew day. Good. Thank goodness. Let me tighten up here. Uh, make sure we get pressure. All righty. Well, guys, I appreciate uh, everybody coming out and hanging out with us. I don't generally uh, have everybody watch us do cleaning because that's no fun. But no. I want to say thank you to everybody that hung out with us for the entire time and... Uh, Really, really appreciate all the comments and the conversation and everything. So, yep. Great time. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Over and out.